And we're live! <laughs> hey, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob, this is Melanie. We're rocking some Marvel Champions, the card game, aka the LCG living card game. We're playing some of this. We do not have Kyle though. No three player tonight. Kyle bailed on us. This guy, real life responsibilities. <laughs> Get his priorities straight. <laughs> card games for life, man. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so he, he can't be here with us, but uh, he may be stopping by Friday afternoon uh, to play something with me, possibly live. So stay tuned for that. We'll figure out what we're going to play that day. But I think we have a, I think we have official form from his wife. He's allowed out for five hours on, on Friday, so we might get, to, might get him on stream. Uh, Friday afternoon, it's Eastern time, uh, for for anyone who's curious. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be playing some Marvel Champions. We're gonna do Claw. Uh, I'm playing Tony Stark, my Justice deck that I played last stream because I like it so much. Uh, and Mel requested to play Jennifer Walters with Aggression after mm -hmm. she saw Kyle playing in our three-player stream last Tuesday. She said, "I want to play. I want to play She-Hulk." And Victor's here. Hello from Hello. Spain. Wow. Uh, appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so we're going to play Claw, we're going to give it a try, we're going to do, I don't know how long this stream will be, we're going to definitely play through, uh, the Claw playthrough, if we get smashed really quick, maybe we'll <laughs> shuffle it back up and, and try again with the same decks. Um, I did have a Spider-Man deck that I built for Kyle, our third player was supposed to be here, so maybe I can swing that in if uh, we want to change things up. But I do like Iron Man, so I find him fun. <laughs> All right, so let's get ourselves set up here. Uh, thank you to all our Patreon backers for supporting us, of course. Everyone that donates to the channel, links are all in the description below. Follow us on social media if you don't want to miss these live streams. I usually post there. And the best way to not miss a live stream, subscribe. And then hit that bell icon so you're notified when we go live and you don't miss it. Otherwise, YouTube's like super random when they choose to let you know when things are going on. Uh, all right, let's get down to the table. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so he has 12 hit points per player. So starting at 24, and the second version of Claw. So let's go over Claw here. Let's let's talk about Claw. This is only my second time I think playing Claw. I never have. Yeah, I tried him once solo with. Don't remember who, but uh, it was kind of tough and it was crazy and it was fun. But um, Claw level one, two scheme, zero attack with a nice little asterisk there. That zero attack isn't. You're not off that easy. When he flips a boost, he does an additional boost. So he does two boost cards. So he could go oh. from like no attack to like five maybe, just off oh. that alone. Uh, not to mention attachments he can get and other abilities and things. Um, but that's what he does just by default on, on Claw 1. Claw 2, the angry version of Claw here, uh, he still schemes for two, uh, but he attacks for one with the same, uh, oh no, yeah, same interrupt. When Claw uh, attacks, give him one additional boost card for this activation. So same ability continues, but he has a win revealed. So when he comes out, you search the encounter deck and discard pile for the immortal Claw and reveal it, shuffling encounter deck. So that will happen. I think that's a side scheme if I remember correctly, but I could be wrong. Actually, we can find out right now. Uh, the immortal Claw. Yes, it is a side scheme that will just Accelerate thing. Oh, and he gets an extra 10 hit points when it's out oh for this side gosh. scheme. But as soon as you get rid of the side scheme, it's three per player, six on it, which is pretty crazy. But as soon as you get rid of it, he then loses that 10 health he gained. Okay. Um, so if this comes out beforehand, then he'll get the 10 health on the first round. Um, but yeah, so wow. starting at 24. But I mean, if we get that early, it could jump up to 34. And then on the second time around, he's 18 times two, and then plus could get that 10. So. Could be 36, 46, whatever. Wow. Yeah, he, okay. he's crazy. Uh, very unpredictable, very all over the place. Um, but yeah. Uh, so his main scheme is underground distribution, uh, which says the contents, blah, blah, blah. You're using the standard set as normal. So we have that in here, the standard villains that we've seen already um, that I think you have to put in every villain deck no matter what. Uh, but then the recommended is Masters of Evil, which is the second difficulty little subset enemy deck uh, encounter set uh, where it's a bunch of guys it's focused more on on, on uh, minions there's some dirty dirty minions in here I remember um, and then set up you search the encounter deck for the defense network side scheme which I should have done while I had it here the defense network side scheme so this is a crisis when revealed we're gonna place initial one per player so this is four uh, four threat starting out on this scheme this side scheme and it has the crisis icon, which means we can't 
get stuff off of, like threat off of the main scheme until we've dealt with this one. This so one starts in play? It starts <laughs> in play right now. Awesome. Part of the setup right here on 1A. Uh, so the attack on the shield facility has been linked to an underground weapons network. So we did that. We're going to shuffle the encounter deck and advance to stage 1B. Your investigation reveals that the criminal enterprise is operated by Claw, an old rival of the Avengers. When revealed, we're going to discard cards from the top until we get a minion, and then we put it into play. Oh, no. So he has a lot of cards that do that. I though. Uh, engage with the first player. Oh, who's going to be the first player now? Uh, I'll be the first player. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you have 15 health. Looks good. Yeah. All right. So you're first player. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we should probably decide that first, but that's okay. Uh, I didn't know. So yeah, he's all about the minions. If I remember correctly, there's like this crazy stuff. Like there's multiple cards that will say like the treacheries that go make you look. And then the masters of evil, I think does that where it's like discard cards off the top of the deck until you find uh, masters of evil minions specifically. Oh, so okay. his deck, you can get through it pretty quick by doing all this discard off the top stuff. Yeah. And just revealing extra for boosts. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay. So there's your legal, legal work going by. Uh, so we're doing this till we find a minion. Oh, there's treachery. Oh, great! That's the one that pulls our side, our little um, nemesis decks in there. Okay, this is uh, this is not good. Oh, okay, wow. I like that. I see that one go by. Yeah, but these are gonna get shuffled this. in fast. Yep. What the heck? Where are the minions at? Did you put them in? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Why are these cards stuck together like this? Ah, there's one. So he's engaged with you, and he's got guard and toughness. So he comes in with tough. So you have to. Ping away the tough before you can start hurting him. And he's got three health, one attack, zero scheme. Okay. And guard. So you cannot fight Claw until you've gotten that guy out of, of, out of your way. Or I can help you get him out of your way, obviously. But we almost have half the deck just discarded right there. That is disgusting. That's crazy. This is probably not going to go too well, but uh, we'll see. Does anything happen to... Oh, when he goes through his deck, we get additional uh, counters, It speeds right? up the threat counter thing here. Wow. Uh, which starts with none on this one, but it will accelerate by two uh, because we're playing two player every turn. And once six uh, per player, so 12, oh. are on this one, he'll advance to stage 2A, which we'll deal with. And that is eight per player, so a little little longer on that one. So Okay. Um, and that has a when revealed. Discard cards from the encounter deck until a minion is discarded. Put that minion into play. Engage with the first player. Blah, blah, blah. That's, okay. his, that's his thing. So, yeah. So we're going to go through this deck pretty quick and start accelerating. So speed is of the essence. Okay. And I probably shouldn't be playing Tony Stark in that case since he's got to sit here <laughs> for turn after turn building his stupid suit. But I have some fun doing that and digging for it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's I think we're good to go. Yep. Um, but, yeah, if you guys have any questions, drop it in the chat. Thanks for everyone hanging out with us. Stop by on a Tuesday night here. Um, Mel's a little under the weather. She might be coughing her brains out. So, we might no, not do no, the stream. <laughs> we might not do the stream for too long just because of that. Uh, she's a little under the weather. Um, but, yeah. I just have a cold. Yeah. But I will try not to cough. <laughs> now that I said that, don't put your earphones too loud. No, 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 no. See the Wrecking Crew announcement? Yes, I watched like 20 minutes of that video. I caught the end of it live and then went back and watched the first like 10 or 15 minutes. It's kind of busy editing another video, but uh, yeah, it's uh, a new villain pack they're coming out with. Uh, it's four villains that you uh, only one is active at a time. Then they each have their own side schemes, and there's a main scheme. So these these Wrecking Crew guys. Oh, uh, you're playing them all together though. Yeah, they're all out. There's oh. like four villains. They're, they're like a four-man group. I don't know anything about them in the lore at all. I'm not. I I've never really heard of the Wrecking Crew to be honest. Um, but yeah, they they are seem like an old school based on what they were saying in the thing. They're from like the 80s. Oh. Uh, they've been in Marvel since then until now, and they're still around. And they're like pretty classic. Um, but just the game mechanics of it, it was kind of cool having like four villains out. Uh, the one that activates is the one that has the most threat on his side scheme but each one has its own side scheme so you have to defeat each one to get oh. rid of them they each have their own health that you're tracking that's cool yeah so it's I just like, like a cool little i like that i don't know what else their decks do or anything i only watched the first like little bit but what uh let's see they're imbued with asgardian magic ah okay that's why he was saying in the in the video they were saying like they've taken out thor before and uh something about wrecking the avengers mansion or something like that they're like pretty pretty powerful but yeah I'm I'm curious to see variety. I want to see some different mechanics and stuff. So like I'm excited for it just for that. But when did they say that's coming? Yeah, uh, Devin, do you know when then when that one comes out? Is it isn't it um, like are we gonna see Captain America first and like uh, Green Goblin before the Wrecking Crew, or is the Wrecking Crew 
first. I, like, I don't know what order everything's coming out in now because it FFG promoting things is all like all over the place. They're always showing off stuff way in advance, and then and then you get all confused because nothing's really out yet. But they've been spoiling a bunch of stuff, so I don't know what's coming out when. So their, their messages aren't one hundred percent clear there. Um, but yeah, I guess you can look on their coming soon page and kind of get an idea. Mm. But anyways. Uh, all right, so let's go with um, drawing up our mm. hand size. Yep. I shuffled in obviously our uh, our obligations. As you saw the legal work go by for the She Hulk. Uh, and so six cards. You're at six cards. I am. Yes. Hit points are good. Very fifteen points are good. Yeah, fifteen for me. I think we are all set up and good to go. So if you want to, oh mulligans if you want. Um, I don't. Probably mulligan for my stuff uh, if that's going to be a thing. But also seeing the threat is already a problem. This will get certain getting covered. And we can't even clear this till that's gone. I might start since I'm justice and threats my thing. Your I'm aggression. Just, you're about punchy punchy. Yeah, I'm just peeking at my yeah. stuff on the other side. Yeah, remember when you flip, you do the auto deal damage to two damage to an enemy, any enemy. So that might be good for a flip deal two to get rid of toughness and then I got another hit him or rid of yeah, tough. you just. Keep, keep in mind, like, don't waste your big hits on the tough stuff, obviously. Just ping it. Green Goblin this month. Captain December. Oh, Green Goblin in November already? Oh, that's cool. It's me, Marvel. Uh, it's supposed to be Miss Marvel. Oh, Miss Marvel. January. Okay. Yep. Uh, uh, WC February. Oh, that's, right, Wrecking Oh, crew. that's Wrecking Coot. Okay. And Thor in March. I didn't oh. even know about Thor. That's cool. Cool. I just remember sitting there at the FFG and Flight Report at Gen Con, and they were just, like, throwing, like, expansions <laughs> at our face just flying up on the screen, and I'm like... <laughs> I'm still like, what? They got the Marvel license? <laughs> yeah, everyone was like in awe about yeah, the, the video, like, right? What? Itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody was paying attention and they to They were like, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. And I was just like, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll check it out when it comes out. <laughs> <But> yeah, <laughs> that's cool. cool. Awesome. Thanks, Devin. We appreciate it. So I'm first, right? Are you going to mulligan? Uh, no, I think I'll keep it. Okay. I am going. Oh, I have to flip to do that. Oh, that's annoying. I guess that's fine. Do you have any alter ego stuff to do before you flip? Just checking. I don't think Obviously I do. you don't need to heal because you're full. No. Okay. I'm going to flip. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do something else first, but it's a hero action, so that doesn't work. So when you flip, two damage to an enemy. Your choice. Obviously, it has to be him because he has guard. So oh, so this then, tough yeah. goes away. Okay. That's what I was kind of hearing. Okay. Hearing. <laughs> yeah, because I wanted to so do... then you have three attacks, so you can always just e e fight him and get rid of him in like two seconds. You're She-Hulk. <laughs> I am She-Hulk. Okay, well, I'm going to play Strength okay. to pay for uh, Ground Stomp. So deal one damage to each enemy, which is what I wanted to do to get rid of the, uh, the attack. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, so... So it would... While well, you're mini, you cannot attack. Oh, oh but the, no, no, attack. But this is not an attack, it's just a hero action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so you're going to do here. one on each. Yep. Boom. And down to 23. Big damage, big damage. Printing uh, that money with IP. Yeah, no kidding. And they're going to be playing catch up, right? They just got that IP. And if you've seen what they do with Star Wars, like, I can only imagine how crazy it's going to get with Marvel. They're going to they're gonna rake that thing. They're gonna, oh. You're going to see Marvel on everything. We're going to have. Mansions of Marvel Madness, second edition, <laughs> in no time. <laughs> oh, I got some good cards here. This is annoying. Um, I'm going to attack this guy. I probably should have done something different here, but that's okay. Eh. So I'm going to attack that guy. Whatever. We're getting back into it here. It's been a whole, like, three days since we played. So. You know, right? <laughs> I also never played this. Yeah, Claw is new to you, so this or is... no, this deck either. Oh, and She-Hulk, yeah, and aggression. I don't think you've played. Oh, my hand is only four. On that side, yes. That's frustrating. Yep. Okay. Well. But we don't want scheming right now, so it's kind of good to be on that side. Can you get your resources going, maybe? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just gonna pay three for it. Yeah, because I get some resources yeah, going. Yeah, pay all that. I don't want to. Those are good cards, but okay, that's me. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, you can hook me up with that too, right? Oh yeah, you want to? Uh, not a second. Let me just see what's going on first. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna look at the top three cards. Well, hello resources. <laughs> um, should we do card draw or resources? That is the question. I'm feeling like card draw, but I think resources is probably smarter. Uh, okay, so let's toss these two. I'll take the helicarrier. 
And yeah, I'll take your donation. Yep. All right, so Helicarrier is coming in that for one. Yep. Well, let's do two, three off strength. Then I'll use my own Helicarrier. Let's throw, nope, I can't do that yet. Let me hold on that Helicarrier. Uh, let's do Power of Justice to pay two for a Heroic Intuition since it's a Justice card. Put under any player's control, I get plus one thwart. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what are you thinking? Staying in this form, but uh, that might be trouble. Okay, let's go. I think you're fine for one. Yeah. Because you need to get the cards, right? True. Uh, okay. Yeah, but... I yeah, know a hand size of two if I flip. Yeah. But like, not... I want to get rid of this so bad. Uh, but I only have three thwarts. So I don't even get rid of it. I'm right. So. And two plus boost on here. Yeah, we'll be playing big catch up. Okay. So, uh, like, I don't want him to scheme. I'd rather him fight. In both cases. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, in that case. But are you okay with only one card or two cards? No. <laughs> One turn is okay. We'll make it up. Yeah, I don't know. All right. No, no, no. Uh, so I'll do a uh, resource, throw away these two repulsor blasts. Very hard to do the such things, but uh, to get mark armor in to go up six hit points. So I go up to 15. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll flip. Yeah? Yeah, thwart for three. And I'm done. Okay. All right, so we're going to discard down uh, if you want, and then we will draw up to our hand size, which mine is just two Four. because I have one tech upgrade. <laughs> okay, I got emergency. I can prevent some thwarting. And my rocket boots, which I can play with helicarrier. Ooh, I got two one-two punches. That's okay, pretty nice. good. Yeah, you got to do all the damage. I, yeah. I'm throwing away damage cards here. It feels bad, but I, I got to do it. Uh, okay. So he is going to go do some threat on the main scheme. You got to ready your cards too. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Always. Yeah, yeah. I forget that a lot. But then I realize that once he comes to attack yeah. me, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, I need to defend. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Let's do two threat there. Okay. Um, then he is going to look at the first player and he wants to attack, attack. Yep. He's going to get two boost cards. You want to defend it all? No. So it's two plus, uh, oh, a star. Deal one damage to each hero. We're both in hero form, so we so should I take a damage. I take three total? No, or? no, no, no. So this happens right now. You deal one damage to each oh. hero. We're both in hero form, so we both take a damage. Yeah. Uh, that's all it does, really. Uh, so it's only attack of two. Oh, it's, okay, yeah. So I take three. Total. Total three, yes. Yeah, sorry. Uh, but I was, uh, yeah, I'm trying to do it all separate, like sure. separate abilities. Let's not total things up and get all confused. All right, one thing at a time. Uh, he is going to attack me for boost to boost. Boost to boost. Uh, yep, bring it on. Uh, so this one, exhaust each ally you control. <laughs> Fool, I don't play allies. All right, then this one, put weapons runner into play engage with you. Sounds like fun. All right, well, at least he didn't attack me for anything. Uh, and this guy has Surge. So after this card's revealed, uh, reveal one. Mm, I don't think that's Oh, because actually... you're not doing that. You're doing this part. Yeah, yeah. I think this is different. I don't think the Surge happens off this guy. I yeah, think we I don't think so either. I think one of our streams where it was pointed out that it doesn't work that way. But I could be totally wrong. I don't think so because it's a separate line. Yeah, yeah. It's put into play. Or, yeah, put into play versus revealed off the deck. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's how it works. Okay, um, so that's it. Oh, no, encounter cards. Yep. Duh. Uh, yes. It's getting back into it. Uh, so go ahead. Sonic Converter. All right, uh, so it's an attached, attached to, to claw. claw. Force response. After Claw attacks and damages a character, stun that character. We, we can spend a uh, one of each resource, uh, and wilds can be anything you need them to be, to discard this card. And it gives him plus one attack, so he's always going to be hitting for at least one. Mm. All right, let's see what I get. Uh, Treachery, Masters of Mayhem. When revealed, each Masters of Evil minion, uh, which there are none right now, 
Uh, attacks the hero it's engaged with. No attacks were made this way. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a Masters of Evil minion. And put it into play engaged with you and shuffle the encounter deck. That's annoying. Search the encounter deck. I guess you do the encounter deck first. Uh, I, I can choose which minion. Like, it's weird. It leaves it kind of open. Like, I don't want radioactive, man. Armored guard doesn't seem too bad. Oh, no. He's claw guy. He's claw guy. Master of evil. Oh, man. Is there multiple? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, Tiger Shark. He's got a force response. After Tiger Shark attacks, give him the tough status card. He's three attacks, six health. They're all like huge health. They stick around forever. It's super annoying. This guy's the worst. Radioactive man, seven health. Only one attack, one scheme. So you're like, eh, I'll just leave him there. But then it's force response. After he attacks you, you discard one card at random from your hand, which oh. kills if you're on hero form and you barely have anything in hand and to begin seven. with. seven. Yeah. Uh, so that's in the deck. And on the discard pile is we got Melter. Uh, the engaged player must defend against Melter attack with an ally if able. He attacks for three, five health. He might be the one I grab. Oh, there's Whirlwind. Attacks for two, six health, one scheme. Forced interrupt. When Whirlwind attacks you, also resolve his attack against each other hero. Whoa. So yeah, he's attacking for two against both heroes each turn. I think I'm going to go with the Melter guy just because he is... Um, oh, where was that card? Uh, put into play, engage with you, then shuffle and kind of deck. Okay. So I got two guys to give me. Awesome. So we're going to shuffle our small encounter deck now here. Uh, <laughs> this is not going to go well. <sighs> yeah, we're in trouble. Okay, let's shuffle. All right. Uh, now it's first player to me. Yep. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so let's just. Um, I can get rid of this guy for you if you want. Cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll, that'll be nice. He does attack for three, which sucks. But oh, I have an uppercut that I can do. Okay. Well, I will. Uh, sucks that I have to waste a full threat on that one. No other way to just get rid of a single threat unless you do. Uh, <laughs> no. That's well, nice. unless I did that with her, which I could. No, but you deal with that stuff. Uh, okay. So let me... I will thwart... So sucky. For three. I'm assuming, like... If anyone knows in the chat, if I thwart for three, can I take one off here and two off here? Or am I, am I doing it all on a specific card? I, I mean, I can look it up, I guess. Well, but... Uh, Usually there's always someone in the chat like knows right away. But that's okay if not. Uh, thwart. Some game effects and card abilities reference a thwart attempt. There are a few different ways this can occur. A hero can use their basic thwart power to thwart a scheme. A hero must exhaust his power. This removes threat equal to the hero's thwart from the scheme. And Yeah, I think it's only one. I would assume one. Yeah, if trigger ability. Yeah, it's just one. Because it just keeps saying uh, scheme, specified scheme. And then there's abilities that you'd remove two, like from one scheme Multiple, to another. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so if, I just burn it. I get rid of the defense network. Sweet. Uh, if you're not using your helicarrier, I could get rid of both guys on your board for you. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. I'll just toss emergency to pay for uh, rocket boots, yep. uh, which will give me an additional hit point Okay. Uh, while they're in play. And I will... I don't want to stay in this form just so he doesn't scheme, but I then only draw three cards total versus me flipping, looking at the top three, getting one, and then drawing six cards on my turn. <laughs> but then he could scheme for two plus a boost, put four on there, boom, we're on the next threat. So unless you are flipping for sure, but then that means I'm he's not scheming flipping. again. I'm not flipping. I'm staying. Okay. Unfortunately, then I will stay where I'm at, uh, just so he does not scheme for now. Until okay. I can get everything under control, I think. So, you need, you need resources, you say? Not yet. <laughs> so, first I will do an attack of three on this guy. Okay, boom. Weapons runner is gone. Okay. Then if you will pay for me for my one-two punch. 
<laughs> she can and then after you make a basic attack using your attack ready her okay mm -hmm. I like then I will pay one two three to play uppercut um, attack deal five damage to an enemy done beautiful and then I will do an attack of three I guess it's probably better to do that right yeah I'll do an attack of three on him yeah that's just like more efficient right yeah uh, so he's down to 20 okay that's it all right so uh, he's gonna put some threat on here well the game is gonna put some threat on him, I guess. <laughs> uh, then he's going to attack me two cards uh, so oh, it, we didn't ready up we didn't draw our cards Let's draw our cards. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. So three for me. Uh, four. One, two. Nothing to really help me here four. defensively. Um, but I'm okay. I will just take it. Uh, it is two. There's my business problems going by. Plus, so it's a five. Attack for five. Plus that? You count on that? Yep, yep. So I'm down to ten. All right. And now then I'm, you're stunned? Uh, yes. After you damage that care stun. Yep, yep. Thank you. And that's going to happen to me too, right? Uh, if you take damage from it, yep. Oh, yeah. Like I can only defend for one, so like <laughs> I don't think I'd get that lucky and it miss. Uh, okay, so he is going to deal two cards. Mm -hmm. uh, he's attacking for one by default. Uh, yeah, I'll just take All it. All right, here we go. Uh, it's a discard one card at random from your hand. Okay. Uh, this one. Okay. Can't play it anyway, so it's not bad. Uh, and then uh, give the villain a tough status card. Yes, I didn't even take damage. So I'm not even uh, one, oh, right one here. I did. Ah, yeah. dang it. So you are stunned. You wouldn't have if we got rid of that card. Oh, can Is it I? worth it? You just need one of each resource. Remember, could, wilds you can use for whatever. <laughs> I could do that. Yeah. And That's, then not play anything. Yeah, but prevent stuns from happening, which stop us over from even attacking over, yeah. him. Yeah, there's no way you can keep blocking his attacks. Uh, okay, let's deal with uh, oh, encounter counters. cards. Yep. Yeah. So mine is treachery. When revealed, if the villain attacks me, so he is going to do two cards. Um, yeah, I'll just take it, I guess. Uh, put weapons runner into play, engage with you, and oh, no. uh, just one. So two total. Uh, so I go down to eight. And for you... Uh, Gang up, oh. treachery. When revealed in my hero, the villain and each minion engage with you attacks you. Okay, so he is going to do one and two. Are you going to just take it or defend? Well, I might as well defend because I'm, I'm stunned. Can, uh, yeah, I might as well defend because I can't attack. Well, but, uh, but I have to, the, I the only way to get rid of that stun attack. is to attack. Uh, no, I'll just take it. You're right. All right, one, two, three. Three. He's down to one card left in his deck, and then it's acceleration time on the threats. Holy moly. On the schemes. Uh, all right, here's your first player token. So my plan on my... Yeah, Claws Reckon Us. I don't think that's right. I think you can take threat off whichever scheme you want, unless it says threat must be removed from the side scheme before threat is removed from the main scheme. Uh, well, that it did. It did say that it was a crisis one, but yeah, I don't know. Anyways, but yeah. I guess I could just, do you want me to just chuck all these to get rid of that? I mean, it's not efficient in any way, but I'm going to do it. Uh, yeah, I don't have, I mean, no, yeah, I don't yeah, have. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of uh, the, Okay. all three. Wow, this guy's wrecking us. There and then I will converter. pretend to attack so that this goes away. Okay. Uh, do you want to flip it all or anything? <laughs> Um, oh, that might be a good idea. Hey, Shannon, Kelly, uh, is this a recommended buy? Uh, if you like co-op living card games, yeah, it's pretty <laughs> awesome. Uh, if the theme appeals to you, if not, there's, if you like horror, there's Arkham Horror LCG, which is similar by the same designers, basically, and same publisher, obviously. And, or if you like Lord of the Rings fantasy stuff, then there's Lord of the Rings LCG. Um, but yeah, those, there's your two options, uh, or three options total now of basically using the same system of LCGs. But yeah, it's fun if you like deck, put building decks with people or building decks for other players. 
um, and love expansions coming out every single month. Little expansions that just add to the game and the game growing. It's a living card game. You got to like that stuff and you got to be okay spending that money every month on a game and letting it grow. Because uh, it's not, it's pretty good at the start, but the richness in an LCG is like a couple of years in, it gets super crazy and advanced and like the options are insane. And it, that's what's kind of cool. You get like really deep into it, but. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty fun core set. It's definitely worth mm -hmm. the value of the core set. And then you get a lot in it, I think. Um, but yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm going to flip. Okay. All right. So. Hey, Rob, did you see the Wrecking Crew? Didn't think I could be more excited <laughs> about the game. <laughs> yes, I did. I was just talking about it earlier. Uh, Devin has the same thing. But yeah, in chat. Um, but yeah, I did see it. It looks cool. I don't know much about the Wrecking Crew, but the mechanics seem exciting. The whole four... Uh, Four villains at the same time, each with their own side scheme, activating one at a time and all that stuff. It's going to be a fun little balancing act for sure. Very interesting uh, use of the mechanics, that's for sure. Did they show it in the video or just talk about it? Yeah, they were showing the cards up on screen and the schemes and everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was kind of, they were Not everything I don't think they spoiled, but they just were talking about the main oh, okay. stuff. It was I only think. like 30 minutes. So check it out. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely watch, I didn't watch the whole thing. I uh, watched like the end of it. I caught live and then I watched the first part later, but yeah, I'll definitely watch it again. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, not a lot going on over here. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, let's thwart for three. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll flip. I'll use my futurist action. Reveal the top three cards. Uh, I'll take powered gauntlets, discard heroic and twitching, which I can only have one per. Oh, I guess I can put it under your control too. But I don't have. No. Okay. Haymaker's gone. Okay. So deal four damage, eight if you have the aerial traits. Okay, I'm flipped. I can't do that. Uh, okay, let's just get the. Uh, I'm gonna save emergency for getting stopping a thwart because we're gonna be scheming, obviously. Yep. Or stopping a threat. I can stop one as well. Oh yeah, true. Uh, surveillance team, move one snoop counter. All right. Well, I gotta get rid of supersonic punch and undo helicarrier to play powered gauntlets. Should, probably should have done that all before, but I just saw that anyway. Uh, okay, surveillance team. I will just hold. Yeah, unfortunately. Ryan is also saying that he looked at some of the Green Goblin cards. He flips like heroes do. Looks super cool. That's <laughs> awesome. I haven't seen any uh, of that That's yet. cool. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't spoiled myself on most of that stuff. But yeah, I definitely wanted to get the Green Goblin. That uh, seems cool. That's cool. And sorry if it's off topic, but do you know if you can upgrade car ability cards in Gloomhaven, the video game on PC? Uh, so Brandon's asking about Gloomhaven, the video game on PC. So uh, if you can upgrade ability cards... Not that I know of. Like, you're talking about, like, putting oh, little stickers, the stickers on them to, like, give them better abilities? No. Not, not that I've seen, no. But th that's something that they'll add. Like, it's right now it's in early access, and they've been adding stuff, like, basically every couple of weeks. They come out with a big update that adds a bunch of stuff. And it's not coming out to like, next year where the full version, I believe, or end of this year or start of next year sometime where they say the whole um, the actual game will be released. Right now it's just this, like testing adventurer mode like it's not even the real game yet and they say they're working on getting the whole scenario all the characters unlocking multiplayer online everything's that's coming cool. but right now it's just like pretty basic pretty basic but still fun that's cool uh, but no no upgrades yet that will come i'm sure in the campaign like playing the normal campaign you'll get to do that stuff but mm. i don't know if they'll add that to adventure mode we'll see okay uh i'm done okay uh I'm you're done. done yep all right, so we discard down. Uh, I'm going to discard Surveillance Team, I think. Yeah. I'll discard Surveillance Team. Okay. I'm going to hold on to uh, Emergency. Then we'll draw up to our hand size, which minus six. Six for me. One, two, three, four. All right. Interesting. OK. OK. So we stand. Uh, ready, yeah, guys. Ready up. Okay, so you're first. He's going to uh, put two on the main scheme. Okay. Oh, I'll but interrupt one. You'll prevent one. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. All right. Because it's like when it... When, uh, when threat, when threat would, be would be placed, placed yeah, on yeah. the scheme, prevent one of that yeah, threat. Yeah, so it stops it even in that phase. But mine is like emergency is like 
only when the villain schemes. Oh, okay. Uh, which you'll do right now. Yep. Uh, let's be in a scheme. And... So right now he's scheming for two and then he still flips two? No, only when he attacks he does Oh, okay. Two. He just flips one. So it is nothing. Two? Yeah, just two. Okay, good. Uh, so his deck's empty now. We got a shuffle. It's going to get this little advancement token. Threat on there, you're saying? Yep. But I will prevent one of the threats. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so you'll scheme here. Um, yeah, nothing I can really do about it. Uh, for three total, and that will advance. The scheme, unfortunately. Uh, so we're going to advance to the other one. That one's gone. So secret rendezvous. Claw has found a there buyer was, for his illegal weapons. What? There was 12 on there already? Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, you're right. Sorry, you are right. You're not playing solo. I am not playing solo. <laughs> I was like, that Whoa. seemed like that went real fast. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking it's harder than it actually is. Oh, my God. Thank you. Okay. Wow. You beat the chat telling me that's... <laughs> to be fair... In Gloom, and you have to unlock an achievement to be able to do that. So maybe it's just That's unlocked true. right now. Just locked. Oh, true. That's true. But remember, the Gloomhaven in the PC right now is just an early access adventure mode that's been made up out of thin air by the developers. It is not meant to mimic anything in the normal game. Yeah, well, you're not tracking any progress as you're going, Yeah, right? it's just something quick and dirty they get to basically get us to test the game for them, to, be, to pay them... <sighs> To get access to test the game for them so they don't have to pay beta testers as much. That's, that's, that's just how game, games work nowadays. <laughs> uh, we're all tricked into doing work for them. Um, okay. So. Uh, okay. Encounters. So that's six. No, no. Still going. Uh, then he schemes. Oh, right, right. There's another uh, puts guy. one more. That's why, yeah. I, was I like, forgot about that guy. Okay, so we're not flipping. Okay, then uh, encounter cards. Mm -hmm. One for you, one for me. Shadow of the Past. Oh, no. So, grab your Nemesis deck. Even though that's Spider-Man? It's just art on the card, Oh, man. sorry. I didn't even see. I didn't actually read it. So grab you don't fly name. helicarriers. It doesn't matter. I don't know. I saw Spider-Man yes. and thought it was one of those, nope. like, you throw those few in. It's Never these. Uh, so, it's your specific. Coming into play and engage with you. Oh, awesome. Uh, and then your side scheme is going to go into play for her, which comes into play with three. Place an additional one per player. So, it's five total. And that's a crisis one, same as that other one that was out, so we can't deal with this until we clear that off. Uh, and then she comes in, she's got one scheme. Yeah. Uh, ta Titania. Uh, one scheme, her attack is X. X is equal to her remaining hit points. She's at six right now, so she's going to attack you for six. Unless no, you not. pound the crap out of her. No, she's not. Yeah, no, that's the whole thing. That's why it's your thing. So, like, you're supposed to be doing big damage on her to, to make her go away and not hit her as hard. Uh, then her Tatiana's, Titiana's, however you say it, it's oh, Fury. And an attachment's going to go in there. And they get shuffled in. And these are going shuffled into the deck. Would have been nice if those went in earlier because then it would have made the deck thicker and we wouldn't have ripped through it so fast. But hey, that's, that's how it works sometimes. Yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, but we do have to hurry because this is out. There's no way to get rid of that that I know of. Um, okay. Okay. Well, hopefully you don't get something bad. Whoop. All right. Uh, oh yeah, mine's right here. Melter and he, allies must defend. Yeah, this is the thing. Minions are minions with the claw just keep coming and coming and coming. Wow, Super what annoying. are we gonna do about this? Fight them all. Uh, all right, so that is that. Uh, first player flips to me. I'm gonna start with Tony Stark's ability. Futurists. Look at three cards. Ooh, I Whoa, like I like see? energy. I like resources. So let's Shadows throw these. Shadows of the Past is great. Let's throw oh. these. What is Whisper? Shadows of the Past is great. <laughs> I, I have nightmares of that I card. I actually read it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I've just Maybe dealt with it before and, and it's ingrained. You. Reveal Green. set aside nemesis here. Wow. Okay. So let's do some. So that's hero. Got to do that later. Uh, 
Let's go. <coughs> okay, here's how I'm going to roll. Helicarrier. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay for interrogation room to go and play for you. Oh. After you defeat a minion, exhaust interrogation room, move, remove one threat from the scheme. Okay. Right? I'm pretty sure I can play that in your thing. More. No, I can't. It has to say play under any player's control. Never mind. Yeah, sorry. I'm getting confused with that one. Uh, oh, you don't think it'll kill minions? Well, I can, maybe. Yeah, I could. But I just thought now you already kind of can. Yeah. And you're about to probably. So yeah. I thought, let's take advantage. Um, okay, I'll just put it in play under myself. Uh, let's go. Mm. All right. Let's do a flip. Oh, this is a support. Just thinking. Yeah, I don't need to be in Tony Stark mode anymore. Mm, unless I want to heal. The thwarting seems like a thing. I'm about to get tacked good. For four plus the boss man. Man. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to. That's annoying. I'll have to recover three, I think. Uh, up to 11. Okay, then I'll flip. Uh, okay. So let's play uh, a genius to pay for a four justice. And it's a hero action. I'm in hero form because I'm using a mental resource uh, for at least one of them, which is both. I can remove four threat from a scheme. Okay. Okay. That's done. Uh, I will throw away heroic intuition to put a rocket boots into play, a second one. And yeah, that's gonna be all she wrote. Nope, I can deal. Mm, don't have the aerial trait, so I'll just deal one damage. Do you need, yeah. Um, Do you have like ground pound or anything? Like no. one damage to everything? No. no. Uh, I'll just deal one damage to Melter. Okay. That's it. Go ahead. Okay, I will, what do I got to do before I flip here? Nothing. I will flip and deal. Two damage to an enemy. Two damage here. Okay, there, let's go. Okay. I will use Helicarrier. And to chase them down to play an upgrade. Um, here gets plus one attack. Hmm. Next one from player. Then I will, this tough thing is driving me bonkers here. I'm just trying to think of. I got power regression that can pay for well, have assault. Deal five damage to a minion. If you pay for this card using punchy punch, which you can say you did, because it's a wild resource. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Then it gains overkill, but it wouldn't kill her anyways. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah, she's a beast. But actually, ac oh, but then the tough. We'll, we'll only get one through. Well. But you don't want her attacking for six, so whatever you do, get something off her at least. Okay, I'll attack her for four. Because uh, okay. I have plus one. Yeah. Oh, the ogre, I see. Now. So she attacks for two now. Excess damage from this attack is dealt to the villain. So if you killed this guy, four would go to this guy that's and one would hit Okay, there. yes, that's what I'll do. Okay, so he actually hits I'll for more right now. play Relentless Assault. Paying for it with aggression, so power of aggression. Power of aggression sorry, yep. so that pays for both of it. So I'll deal five damage to that guy. So four hits him, and then and then seeing... and it gains overkill yep. if I uh, if you pay for it using uh, yep that card. So that knocks away the top off of our yep. buddy claw. Okay, and then I think that 
is all. You can give that to if you want next turn. Yeah. I mean, it would be cool with the minions, but or right now. Or use it to pay for this girl, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right, you can discard down any cards you don't want to be holding. No. Uh, okay. Then we draw up to our hand size, which uh, mine is one, four. two, three, four, five right now. Yeah. Oh, I'll probably just use that to pay for this. We got Daredevil, War Machine, and Jessica Jones all showing up at the same time here, which all are super expensive, but getting one of them in play to take hits from you would be great. Uh, okay, so ready up. And uh, the ready threat time. Oh, man. It's a nine on there. Nothing to stop any of that. Okay. Uh, then he is going to attack me. One, two. Um, uh, no, I'll take it. So it's two, three total. Uh, so down to eight again. Okay, then okay. he's attacking you. Yeah. I'll take it. Uh, three, four. Four total. Four. Oh, I didn't see the other two. Double, double. Oh, no. okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm at four. Oh. Okay, then uh, encounter card. Uh, no, she's going to attack me for oh, yes, two. Yep. Does so she draw on. a boost as well? No. Just straight up two. Oh, then I'll take two. Down to two health? You crazy. Yeah. You better be flipping and healing. Yeah. Okay. Or get that crazy card that does like a thousand hit. Yeah, and, I don't you know. have that. Oh, all right. Hopefully they don't attack you again right here with another encounter card. Oh, yeah. That would suck. Yep. Uh, so Sonic Boom, when revealed, either spend one of each resource or exhaust each character you control. Sure. Done. Okay. Claw's Vengeance. When revealed in hero form, Claw attacks you. <laughs> if the attack deals damage, place one threat on the main scheme. Okay, so he's going to attack me. Uh, all right. Um, I'll defend. Yeah. For two. Uh, one plus boost. Give the villain one additional boost card. For oh this my goodness, I'm going to be dead. Yeah, you made a huge mistake. Uh, so one plus nothing plus... Three, so four. So, so I block two and I take two and I'm dead? Yep. Can you continue? Yeah, but... <laughs> well, that uh, it's sucks. not going to go real well for me. Okay, so I, I don't even know what happens. I've never seen that happen before. Um, Man. When a character gets knocked out. Like, does I'm the sorry. minion come to me or does it get discarded? That, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, good cards, too. Ah. Uh, when defeated. Nope. <gasps> Yeah, wow. I never <laughs> I was sorry. never prepared for this. <laughs> You're never supposed to lose like that. Uh, okay. Player elimination. 13. Player elimination. A player is eliminated from the game if their hero slash alter ego is defeated. This usually occurs when a character's remaining hit points are reduced to zero. When a player is eliminated, that player's hand, all of the cards they control, and their deck are placed in their owner's discard piles. Encounter cards dealt to the player are discarded. Okay. Oh, that's not a counter card, really, but maybe it is. Uh, any enemies engaged with that player are engaged with the next clockwise player retaining oh, any no, damage I'm they so have. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, whatever. It's going to end quick after this, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then, let's see here. When a player is eliminated, the remaining players continue to play the game. Eliminated players are continued, considered to win or lose along with the rest of the group, depending on how they finish. If a player is eliminated partway through the resolution of an ability, resolve the entire ability. If, a player, if players are eliminated, the game ends. If all players are eliminated, the game ends. All players lose. Cool. All right. Well, it's up to you if you want to continue and see if you can do yeah, it. Yeah, I'll or... just see. I'm sure it'll spiral out of control real quick. But all right. Because <laughs> so everything's still doubled by it's because you're eliminated. It doesn't go down to like it's not one per player with oh. one. It's still t the players that started. Dang, I was gonna heal. So that was turn. him done now, right? So obviously, first player token won't pass. It doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, but I will go. I'm already exhausted. Thanks for that card. Um, okay. Huh. Okay, so there that was a thing. Uh, 
Have you played this guy before? Yeah, once. Yeah? Did you beat him? Yeah, it took forever. But that was playing solo, not playing solo against double the difficulty. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I guess we'll just go with War Machine. Just trying to think if there's anything to do. Uh, or I use War Machine as a wild to get the aerial trait. Yeah, maybe I do that. So I'll pitch uh, War Machine as a wild. I'll make it mental. Um, so that way I have aerial. Um, and then let's throw down uh, four resources to get Daredevil into play. I'll make, oh, no, I can save one because I forgot Helicarrier. So let's. I guess I'll keep Jessica Jones in hand. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's deal two damage to an enemy because I have aerial trait. I'll hit her, kill her. After I defeat a minion, I'll remove one threat from a scheme. Gone. Okay. Uh, and let's just thwart. Two with Daredevil, and then he will deal one damage to Claw and take a damage himself. Um, seven on there, can go up to 12, you say. Yeah, let's flip. Um, I'll do the look at the top three cards Arc Reactor. Yep. Okay. Oh, we forgot this. We forgot that. It should have an extra one on there, right? I only did two on there. Oh, okay. And it should have every time extra. <coughs> I forgot about that part. So, yes, it's going to speed up real fast. Okay. Uh, I'll stop there. Okay. Uh, I will keep my cards, draw up to six. Mm hmm. Okay. What I got. All right. Uh, ready up. And let's. You will do the whole three threat on there of nowhere. And it's eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more. And then he'll scheme for three more, obviously doing the whole business. Yeah. Okay, this one advances. When revealed, discard cards from the encounter deck until you get a minion. Put him into play and engage with you. He's tough. Three health, one attack, zero scheme. Uh, and then flip this over. And Claw is meeting with the Crimson Cowl. Claw and the mysterious figure dart into the shadows. When you confront them and Claw's minions move to cover their escape. This stage is complete. The players lose the game. So it's coming in with zero on it. Uh, it will boost up by three every turn. And then it, once it hits 16, I'm done, son. <laughs> All right. So uh, now encounter card. Uh, so I'm in alter ego against surge. And alter ego claw heals four damage. If no damage was healed this way, this card gains surge. Can you? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, four damage. And you can go up to 24 is his max. Three, four. So it's at 23 then. All right. That's awesome. So, so he's lost one damage. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll go now. Uh, let's do. Uh, all right. I will heal three. Going up to 11. Recover three, actually. Uh, let's do. No way of getting the aerial trait right now. Oh yeah, let's do his ability. Look at the top three cards. There's Stark Tower, you piece of crap. Where you've been? And Pepper Pots, you two fools. Uh, that's a tough one. I want Pepper Pots. Do I have a double resource in hand? Nope. Mm. 
think we'll go with Stark Tower. Oh, with the justice resources, but there's nothing there. Oh, she's justice. I can get her in for one. Yeah, I don't think we could actually. I want to get these five costers into play. One, two. Mm. And take Stark Tower. Okay. Uh, so let's start. Pay one. And we'll do two for Stark Tower. Alter Ego action. I'll grab the top tech upgrade from my discard pile. I think there's one in there. Nope, I've kept them all out. Really? Wow. Okay. Uh, so I will not do that. I will just. I don't know the resource I want. Uh, okay, so I'll just play a powered gauntlets and. Oh, just to put a mark for a helmet into play. And then let's return the power gauntlets to hand. Uh, I'll throw away Sonic Punch and power gauntlets to get Arc Reactor into play. Okay. And I'll flip. And I'll ready Iron Man. Uh, let's just deal one damage to this guy to get rid of tough. Uh, there's no threat on the scheme. So let's just. I'll fight with Daredevil on this guy. He's guard, right? So I have to fight him anyway. Mm -hmm. For two. Daredevil takes one. Um, I'll get rid of my stun. And no other little single way to do damage, I wish. But he only attacks for one, so it's not the worst. Uh, okay. <sighs> yeah, I think we're good. Uh, so let's pitch Jessica Jones. Um, and then I will draw one card. Shuffle deck. He has some cool combos. Uh, because of that, I deal on the counter card. Yeah, yeah, it just takes forever to build it all up. Yeah. So my hand size is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, like, we got the pieces down. Now it's just like surviving and drawing into the, um, I forget what they're called. The blast ones that like you flip the card and you're getting energy and hitting for big damage. Max you do is like 11 off those, I think. Wow. Um, and he has, if I get the aerial trade, I have one that does like 8 damage. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six more. Okay. Uh, repulsor Blast. Ah, that's mm. what it was. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, threat. Yeah, so three is gonna go on here. Let's see. Where the heck is the three counting? Okay, then he is going to attack. Uh, boost card one. Boost. Oh, I didn't ready all my stuff. This is where I always remember when I look down. I can't <laughs> defend. Uh, boost card two. Ah, uh, these two. That was okay, yeah, yeah. So boost card one, two. Um, yeah, I'll just have Daredevil uh, take it. Uh, so it is two plus. If this activation deals damage to you, exhaust your hero. Deals damage to you. That you is in Iron Man, is that you is in the player? Some situations it means other things. Mm -hmm. uh, you. I know I've read it, it is a thing. Mm. Man. Okay. Um. Uh -huh. Perfect. 
you. Oh yeah, it's in the new the new book. That's why. <laughs> yeah, because it, it was a problem. Uh, in Marvel Champions, each player takes the role of a Marvel hero represented by the identity card. Essentially, uh, essentially, the player is their identity card while playing the game. You are Iron Man. <laughs> uh, let's see. While interpreting card text, if the word you can be interpreted as referring to the player, it should be interpreted as such. For example, interrogation room reads, after you defeat a minion, exhaust interrogation room. Anytime the player controlling this card defeats a minion, the ability to be used. If a specific character is required to interpret a ability using the word you, the identity card is the character that must be used. For example, toe to toe reads, hero action attack, choose an enemy. That enemy attacks you. As attacks are directed against individual characters, you refers to the identity card of the player who received who played this event. Okay, so in that case, I can't take damage, but Iron Man can. Right? Hmm? So it didn't damage me, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Uh, but it kills Daredevil. But yeah, it did it damage Daredevil, and Daredevil's you. Isn't that what it was saying when you read the first one? Well, it says, I'm the identity card. Right? If a specific character is required to interpret an ability. Like, I can't take damage personally, but my card can. I don't know. It's saying only they can attack. I, can, I don't know. No, I think it's saying, like, there's two different scenarios there. Oh, I hate shit like this in the rules. Yeah, while interpreting um, card text, if the word you can be... You def a specific character is required to interpret an ability using the word you, the identity card is the character that must be used. For example, Toto to Real, uh, choose an enemy, that enemy attacks you. As attacks are directed against, in, against individual characters... Yeah, because it says hero action, you so you're the hero. That's, yeah, okay. Sure. Uh, what was it doing to me then? Sure, I'll just take the worst I of it. I think it's just exhausting you. Uh, exhaust your hero. Awesome. Final Rabbit is in the chat, and he says, hey, Robin chat. Hey, Final Rabbit. How's Hello. it going? <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, that sucks. Uh, that sucks. Okay. I don't remember what was happening. That was that attack. Was yeah, that was attack, So yes. he's dead. Yes. Beautiful. Turned out links. Uh, counter card time. You have to draw another one too. Yes, in the queue. First one. This guy comes in. Next one. Oh, it's your stuff. All right. Uh, attached to the minion with the highest printed hit points. Uh, armored guard, I guess. If there are no minions in play, this card gains surge. Attached minion gets plus three hit points. So he's a six now. Just like that. Because I didn't kill him. Oh, man. One short. Uh, okay. That's that. My turn. Uh, I don't have a discard anymore to grab my stuff out of there. That was a gamble. Should have did a pepper pot. Uh, okay. Let's. I have none in hand, do I? Nope. Okay. Okay. How are we doing this? How are we doing this? So he needs four more to kill this jerk. But he only attacks for one. But he's, like, he's guarded, so I can't fight that guy. This guy's just stupid. Um. So either way, let's ready Iron Man. Mm -hmm. Let's just throw... No, let's just... Do I do aerial trade? Do I have that? I could, but... I also could put down this to remove three threat at some point. Oh, that's each other scheme. So that's not very powerful. Just really, that would get me two damage. And eight damage off this. Okay, well, let's just do it. So I'll toss surveillance team. Uh, exhaust one of my rocket boots. I now have the aerial trait. Uh, let me just use this to remove one threat off of here. Okay. Uh, then let's deal two damage to an enemy. Okay. After you defeat a minion, remove one threat. Okay. Let's pay for a repulsor blast. Uh, deal one damage to an enemy. And then discard cards off the top of your deck. Get plus two damage for each lightning 
Resource reveal this way. <laughs> oh my god, zero. Wow. Is it being used the wild as a lightning? No, I don't think so. It has to be. I'm pretty specific. sure. Uh, I think it's, I might say printed even. Yeah, printed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew it wasn't that. Yeah, you can only do the wild so when you're like spending. Okay. Well, maybe the next one will hit. So this guy's only at three. Oh, man. That really sucks. So I have like other big hits. I have another Repulsor Blast and a Supersonic Punch. I'd love to do both those to the villain. That was the plan. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that didn't work out, did it? So I can do one with this guy. I don't have any additional attack. Yeah, that sucks. Well, let's just do it. Uh, what would be better? Eight damage or this? Can't you get something back too with this? N uh, no, I have nothing in my discard pile oh. or my hand, so there's nothing I can do there. Uh, let's just try another Repulsor Blast. I'll throw away uh, four Justice, I guess, to pay for that. So one damage to this jerk. And let's start the pitch. So you just need one, really, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Watch, it'll be oh. all, all of them. Yep. Yep, see, that's oh. what it's supposed to do. That's what my deck's built to do. That would have been huge. So I was like really way out there that not a single one hit. So anyways, oh. super killed this guy. <laughs> Thanks to your stupid card being in there, because you so had to sad. draw the nemesis thing. So or the, uh, yeah, the nemesis deck thing. It's all your fault. I okay. Know. I suck. So let's do, uh, I guess we're just going to supersonic punch this guy. Since I have the aerial trait, I'll just pay for it with strength uh, to hit him for eight. So he goes down to 15. That's good. Uh, 15, all right. And anything else? Uh, yeah, whatever, let's attack him for one more. Hope you do. Down to 14. Hey, everyone helps. Yeah, I guess. So he heals it. Uh, okay, that's me. I'll hold on to Power of Justice. Uh, I'll draw seven, six total more. Okay. Oh, there's Avengers Mansion, that might be nice. There's no max card hand size, right? Just you just have to discard just, down to your hand size yeah. on the end of your turn uh, if you're above it. I mean, yeah, that's what I meant. Okay, okay readying up. Okay. Put three on here. Uh, he will attack. Yep. Yeah, let's take it. Three. Uh, down to eight. Okay. Uh, counter card. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy is engaged in the forced interrupt. When Whirlwind attacks you, you also roll attack against each hero. Well, sucker, there is no more other hero. Because <laughs> she died. So you're not as good anymore. Uh, okay. So Lionel Rabbit saying... Um that one. Okay, with Chip Theory Games free shipping at $150, now is the time to make your purchase, Rob. No, it's not, because if you also read in their latest Kickstarter update for Splice and Dice, Canadians are screwed right now, and that's the reason why when I check every other day, there's nothing in stock, the whole store for Canadians, because they're having Canadian shipping issues where Starlight Citadel, out of uh, the west coast of Canada, uh, far, far from me, uh, handles all their orders, has basically been screwing them over and not shipping out any product to Canadians, even on daily orders out of the store and not replying to emails for chip theory. I've uh, been ignoring them for weeks. So they are worried about getting other stuff shipped out from them. So they're now scrambling, trying to find a new provider, which they're gonna go with um, Quartermaster Logistics, who they use for the US are gonna ship stuff with a delay up to Canada, to Ontario, near where I am, to FedEx, who's then gonna do the rest of the shipping for them. So it sucks. Starlight said it all, I would get stuff faster even though it's further away. But going through Quartermaster just means there's a delay stuff coming from the States to me now. But that's not even going to be figured out. They said before Black Friday they'll have it fixed. So when I go to try to order those sweet, sweet promo packs, uh, they should be ready to ship from there to Canada. And they'll have the store fixed. But right now they literally have a switch turning off all product to Canadian buyers right now. And they've had it that way for a couple weeks supposedly. And that answers a lot of questions. But yeah, no, yeah, it's so not. It's not free. It's only free shipping to the U.S. <laughs> yeah, not to Canada not and even Europe. It's max twenty dollars shipping. So it's not free shipping in Europe either. So it's it's good for the U.S. But yeah, 
That to me is like a, a one hour-ish drive for me to get to a US address to then grab stuff. So it's like that drive is kind of not worth it to, for the shipping. Um, but yeah, I appreciate the word up, but yeah, it's not, that doesn't apply to me and it sucks. And the fact that I can't even order anything from their store right now anyway, kind of sucks. But thankfully Board Game Bliss, a retailer about an hour and a half from me, has been getting some of the product and they even now have for pre-order, um, they have Age of Tyranny, which obviously I already have, but they have 40 Days of Daylor they've added. So if I hit that $100, I'm throwing 40 Days of Daylor on there and Tink, and I'm gonna get Undertow all from Board Game Bliss, shipped from literally an hour and a half from my house, free shipping over 150 bucks, uh, cause that's the way we do it up in Canada. It's 150 bucks, you get free shipping every day of the year at every <laughs> retailer here that sells board games. That's not just something, you know, done for like two months of the year for Black Friday or whatever. So yeah, <laughs> that's they, my rant. Will they have the promo <laughs> packs or no? Who? Um, board game boys. No, 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 but Chip Theory said they're going to have the Canadian distribution thing all fixed. Before that. On their website and everything and, and all that before the, the, the uh, promo packs hit. Oh, right. So yeah, because I'm sure Canadians would freak out if we go in the store. On, you know, like, you're there at like 11 a.m. for my time. I'm sitting there like, oh, out of stock for Canada. And then meanwhile, they're all getting gobbled up by yeah. everyone in the U.S. and Europe. That would suck. Yeah, so would they suck. say they'll have it fixed by then. Well, um, we'll see. But yeah, that sucks. And there's people who placed orders like three weeks ago, just went on the store, Chip Theory from Canada, who just went on and were like, oh, like gaskets in stock. I'll yeah. buy that. I'll buy this. I'll buy that. Yeah, $300. Sure. Submit. Charge my card. And they've been sitting there for like three weeks going... How come I haven't got a shipping notice or anything? Yeah, like, where's my stuff? Yeah, so yeah. people have been complaining, and Chip is like, e emailing Starlight Citadel going, guys, why haven't you shipped anything? And they just didn't reply for weeks. They supposedly replied the other day just saying they're swamped. They're like, sorry, we're swamped with other things. We're trying to find a third party who's going to help us out. But Chip is like, eh, we're just going to take our business elsewhere. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of a mess. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, I, I could. But then again, driving, it's like an hour drive plus getting through the border. And there's there's also a $5 toll uh, crossing the border too. So it's like $5 plus gas all, and, and a two hours total of driving. It's like... Mm, and you have to plan it after it's shipped there. Right? You have to oh, know that it's and, there. And trying to bring it back through the border. If they hassle me and want to make me pay duty on it and taxes and stuff, then I get screwed even that other way. So Yeah, we'd have to it's go like, there for another reason. Yeah, it's like a super <laughs> gamble. Like it, I could pay more to do that. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. 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 It's a problem. So yeah, I just go, I just get it shipped. It'd be better for me just to pay someone to ship it to me here. Like, using United States Postal Service. Not FedEx or DHL or UPS. Those guys all screw Canadians over with brokerage and customs fees like crazy. It's insane. Yeah, mm -hmm. never ship anything to a Canadian using <laughs> those com name brand companies because they, they screw them over. Uh, just use United States Postal Service because then they'll hand it off to Canada Post, which is our equivalent, and they don't really screw you over with uh, fees at the door. <laughs> Uh, I'll meet you at the border in our remote site and throw it over to you. Yes, let's do it. We'll, we'll meet at like a lake that divides the border and like I'll swim out to the middle, you know, and, and, and you'll just be floating there and then we'll like, we'll like oh pass it to each other. That's Meanwhile, hilarious. there's guys like in towers like shooting at us in the water like, hey. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, we can try that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yeah, I'll just order off Board Game Bliss right now uh, is the plan. Yeah. And I have an awesome, awesome backer, or awesome viewer, sorry, named Eric, who was in our stream yes, Sunday. Sunday. Sunday we did a Too Many Bones stream, and Eric got an extra um, an extra premium health with his Cloud Spire stuff. An extra premium health for, I believe for Too Many Bones, though. He got it, maybe it wasn't Too Many Bones, I think it was Cloud Spire. I don't know, but he said he got it with his Wave 1 shipping. He got an accidentally got an extra premium health set. So he said he's having trouble getting rid of it locally and he's just gonna like kind of donate it to the channel and, and, and ship it up to show his appreciation. So I should have some premium health coming, which is awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so that's cool. But uh, yeah, because I can't get that from Burger Game Bliss. Everything is frozen over more like a ride on ski. Yeah, that's true. It's super <laughs> that's, cold that's out right true. now. That's true. It's very cold here. <laughs> it's super it was cold. It's like a snowstorm yesterday. Final Rabbit, where are you from? I should know already, I think, but... Uh, you may not want to say it in there. Well, just like a general area. <laughs> yeah, I guess. We live in Canada. <laughs> yeah, well, I would say like an hour west of Toronto is like... True. You know, that narrows down to like a million people or more I area, know. but yeah. <laughs> no one's going to be busting down your door. It's okay. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to put your address in the chat. I, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Western Massachusetts, okay. okay. Oh, it's probably cold there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's continue... <laughs> Where it's my turn now, Yeah, right? you're just starting your turn. Yeah, sweet. 
I had someone complain in the comments in one of our videos we were doing a live stream. I think we're killing time trying to wait for like Kyle to show oh, up yeah, or yeah, viewers yeah. to show up. And they left a comment saying, I'm watching your, your Marvel Champions video. It's like 50 minutes in and you're on turn two. <laughs> I'm watching for play and all I'm getting is you talking. Mm. And I didn't reply, but I've replied in the past where I'm just like, it's a live stream. I even yeah. It says right in there. So, of course, I'm going to chat with people in the chat and have a good time and hang out. It's like, it's not always just about the game. Um, but yeah. That's what the pre-recorded videos are for. Yeah, that's true. Where I'm just like down to business. Yeah, and, exactly. Yeah. But you can scrub through that stuff too. Like if you wanted to see if I'm just blabbing on. Just, yeah, you can, you can see yeah. when you start putting card, cards put it, down put and it two moving times, cards put around. Put it at two times on YouTube later and you just speed right by my... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what people do and they told me. And I don't mind. But they listen to you like a chipmunk like that? Yeah, just to get through more videos. Like sometimes the videos are so long people just put it on two times just to like... Or while they're working, oh, just cool. to like rip through it, and then they'll stop, slow it down once it's at like a part they want to watch. When something good it. happens, yeah, <laughs> which I think is awesome. That's cool. I'm down. I'm down. Okay, so uh, dire straits here. Uh, let's see here. So still nothing in my discard pile. I have no, no Stark Tower use. I really should have did Pepper Pots instead because I could have been getting a resource off for every turn, at least. Okay, so we are going to. Guys, six health, man. Yeah, those guys are huge. Supersonic punch time, I think. I really want Avengers Mansion in play, but it's yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Uh, two, three, and four. Avengers Mansion. We'll draw. <laughs> uh, okay, emergency, sure. I'm digging, I'm digging. Uh, okay. So, can I defeat this guy? I can supersonic punch him. Um, okay, we're going to do... Uh, do I do that? I can get Jessica Jones in, who can hit for two. And I hit for one, two. Or a supersonic punch. How much is that? Uh, it's four, but if I get the aerial trait, it is eight. That's good. It takes them out. Yeah. Okay, let's just do that. Okay, so I unfortunately will spend Power of Justice wild single for a uh, mental resource to gain the aerial trait. I'll remove a threat from the scheme. Uh, let's deal. No, nope, we're not going to do that yet. Let's just do this heroic action. I'll spend... Uh, let's do uh, emergency and interrogation room dumped as resources to spend supersonic punch which will do eight because I have the aerial trait which smashes this guy okay and then uh, since I destroyed him I'll remove a threat from the scheme okay then I'll deal two damage because I have the aerial trait to claw and then I'll fight claw for one and then I'll ready Iron Man fight claw again down to 10. Okay. Uh, Still no use of this guy? No, because <laughs> I think I have one more body part uh, in there, uh, like my suit part. Yeah. And I, it's got shuffled back in like oh, okay. before I could. It was a bad gamble. No, that's okay. I thought I could keep cycling it, but I, I forgot my deck was about to get drawn out. Um, but like, it's going to happen yeah. again. I'm going to get it, and then it's, my deck's going to draw out again. Um, okay. Do I want to get hit? No. So let's flip. I'll let him scheme. I'll yeah. look at the top three cards. Maybe I'll get it. No, of course I don't. Um, and what do I have? I have Jessica Jones. Uh, Haymaker would be helpful. Three damage to an enemy, maybe. Or War Machine. But realistically, Jessica Jones and War Machine can them both into play. Not really happening. I can't get this. This is gone. Haymaker. No, let's focus on the allies. Maybe I can get some allies going. That might help me. Stay the long course. Um, okay. I am done. I'm going to draw up to six, so two more. I'm drawing through my deck, so I'll deal myself an encounter card. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Verified a rule that I wasn't sure about with Cloud Spire about Spires going down to their max upgrades in Endless Mode. Turns out the Spire made with no upgrade slots actually dies after one wave. Oh. So now my best wave is five. <laughs> oh, wasn't it like 20 something? Or? No, 14 or 12 or something got to you. Oh. Ooh. Why was I thinking? So you basically cheated, and now that's your oh. best. Oh, that sucks. That's frustrating. 
You got a rule wrong in Cloudspire? No, <laughs> never. <laughs> that would never happen in that game. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but yeah, okay. That's funny. Okay, okay. So I'll continue drawing up to my six. Oh, there's a Repulsor Blast. Okay, that's something. Got some resources, too. We should see one of my allies come into play. Unless my hand gets blown out right now by up. discard. Uh, yes. Ready up. Okay. Uh, three yep. on the scheme. He's going to scheme for... Give the villain a tough status card. Shut up. Okay, so he schemes for two more. Do I pop an emergency... Stop any of this. I feel like no. If you need it for resources, I would say no. Yeah, I, I think so. Because I can thwart away like six just by him by himself. Uh, okay, but at least three. Plus this if it's a minion in play. Encounter time. Uh, yes, yeah, so another one in the queue. So first one. Business problems. So I'll exhaust. Stony Tark, start to remove this from the game. Okay. Uh, and then, Tatidana, Tan, Titanania's Fury, however you say her name, when revealed, she attacks her hero. If she did not attack, heal all damage from her, and this card gains Surge. Sure. Oh, radioactive man, this oh, guy's so man. annoying. Force response, after he attacks, you discard a card, uh, one random card from your hand. That can get annoying. Uh, okay. My go. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start his ability. Look at the top three cards. There's Power Gauntlets, Pepper Pots. Yeah, so we'll throw these in the discard pile to seed a tech resource in there. Mm -hmm. You get Pepper Pots, Alter Ego Action, Stark Tower, get back, pep uh, get back Power Gauntlets. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's some trickery here. Let's do energy and emergency to pay for pepper pots. Putting a two resource on the top. Let's use pepper pots. That's so cool. To get two resource off the top of the deck plus helicarrier. And we'll throw away an emergency uh, to play war machine. Okay. Let's do Aerial trait business. Let's draw a card. Oh, did I do any hero actions yet? No. No. Okay, I'm flipping. I'm flipping. Okay. Gotta be careful about my eight health. Oh, but I got War Machine to take a hit for me. Okay. Are we talking about Chip Theory? I just got Gasket, and I will try my first solo with him and Tink this weekend. Oh. Nice. Gasket. I want Gasket yeah, so bad. Yeah, I want Gasket. Everyone will say he's so awesome, but he's... Never in stock for Canadians on the website, and now I know there's Canadian stock issues with uh, or distribution issues, and that's why they haven't been in stock. But yeah, I hope to get Gasket one day, that's for yeah. sure. So far, I've run four sessions with the core gear locks with my kids, and we adore the game. The game is amazing. Yeah, it's so fun. That's why we're playing it once a week minimum. Yeah, we love it. Love it. So many videos on the channel, if you haven't noticed already. Played through a whole age of tyranny. Love that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's lots of playlists on the channel for solo, two-player, three-player, and campaign, yep. and more to come. Yep. Stay tuned. We'll probably do a live stream this weekend of it. Maybe even three-player if we can rope Justin in again. Or the three-player with chat. Or, yes, or three-player with the chat controlling the third gear lock, which we'll try to figure that out somehow, how that's going to work. Yeah. I'll try to do it with, like, no latency on the live stream and, and see if we can do that. I think that'll be fun. Yes. Okay. Back to the <clears throat> game at hand. Don't get me started on too many bones, guys. <laughs> Don't get me started. It's love it. Forever. Yes, love it. Uh, so you just flipped a hero. Yes, I did. Okay, so let's do... We're going to use Power Gauntlets to pay for a Repulsor Blast. We'll deal one damage to this jerk face. And start revealing cards off the deck. Two, four... Four. Oh. Mm, that sucks. Okay. Happens. It happens. So four more damage. He's at five total. Uh, which just needs two more, right? Yeah. Boo. Okay. So I'll kill him. Well, when, isn't it better to use this for the two? 
doesn't matter where it comes well, from. Really. Oh, that is true. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, so he takes one. These go away. He's gone. Doesn't take cards in my hand for now. Um, and then let's just ping off tough. And let's ready Iron Man. Uh, he will thwart for three. Oh, yeah, I destroyed a minion. Um, yep. One off that. And I have one threat from this. And that be all. Okay, so I'm going to draw up to seven. Oh, okay, yellow, yellow, yellow. Lionel Rabbit says chat gear locks will have to run the chat gear lock will have to run carry the team. <laughs> Are we mad? Is that what you're trying to I say? I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> uh, my wife's name is Mel or Melanie. Melanie as the yeah. Uh, oh, I was like I didn't even get that far yet. Gonna pick up Marvel Champions and Wingspan tomorrow at the friendly local game store. Oh. Uh, one of them got held for review here. Let me. I don't know why. It's not bad. Uh, uh, yeah, chat gear looks up here the team. I'm missing Gilly. Oh, Gilly's so good. I love Gilly. I love range characters in any game, so Gilly's awesome to me. You haven't tried Gilly yet, but uh, it sounds good. Pretty sure it's Gertrude, like 99%. Tammy, 1%. <laughs> oh, my name is Gertrude? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Do I look like a Gertrude? <laughs> <laughs> Mel is fine. <laughs> yeah. Gertrude seems you can like call a common whatever you Gertrude's want. Gertrude's a care. common name. That's, that's, uh, yeah, that's a common name. I... <laughs> <laughs> All right, readying up my cards. Here we go. Let's get to it. <laughs> yeah, call me that now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, everyone, we got Gertrude playing with us today. <laughs> Gonna have a good time. All right. Uh, let's see here. Okay, this guy. Three threat. Bang. Uh, fighty fight. One and two. Are you putting War Machine in mm, front of it? I don't know. I don't want him to die right away. Right. But it's so expensive of a blocker. Yeah, I'll just throw him in front. Nothing, and no, oh, one. Oh, one. that's terrible. Oh, that's then he's fine. still alive. He's yeah, still alive. Yeah, okay, still that's good. good. Way. That's good. I know I was gonna block for one, which would have prevented all of it. But uh, oh, I don't know if he exhausts to do that. I don't think so, because he doesn't have the defense trait that yeah. he's using. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Yeah. I keep doing that, and then they just die, so I never really get in that situation. But uh, and an encounter. Yes. Did I draw through my deck there and not do an encounter card? I feel like I should have had one already there. No, you drew through your deck last round. Oh, okay, and I already did that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know if you drew up and all that yet. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, the villain attacks me. Yeah, let's do War Machine this time. It won't be as easy. Oh, there you go. Uh, oh. Five, yeah. <laughs> See ya, bro. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Thanks for playing. All right. Uh, my turn. He's at 10. He's got five on the thing out of 16. So threat's under control. I need to pound this guy. And then once he flips, he's going to do... Uh, give me a side scheme into play and start attacking for more. Okay. And he's going to get another acceleration on it because he's got like only... Oh, yeah. Cancer. Crap. So I really got to speed up here. I really died way too early. Yes, you did. It's horrible. <laughs> it was terrible. Okay. Let's do... You carried it a lot farther than I thought you would have. Yeah. Yeah, it's because of the threat mitigation stuff. It just buys you time. Yeah. Uh, usually, until it gets out of control. Okay. So, let's get the aerial trait going, I think. But let's do some card draw first. See what we get. Haymaker, okay, that's some damage, that's good. Don't have a minion to punch to get rid of threat. That's interesting. Uh, okay. Let's just get rid of a threat. And let's just use Pepper Pots to copy the top card to pay for Repulsor Blasts. So I'll deal one damage to him, down to nine. And one, two, three, four, five. Another four. four. And those hits are not really going today. Down to five left. Okay. I will thwart 
<laughs> Iron Man for three away. My I rabbit says, my dying was all your fault. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't gamble down to like two health left. I had eight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so then I will ready Iron Man. Can't control two attacks in a row. <laughs> so let's deal one damage to this guy. I think I had six, let's actually. Let's deal another damage to this guy with an attack. Uh, do I have something in here? Oh, that was an alter ego form, so I can't get that yet. If I flip, which I probably will do. Okay, let's do a haymaker. Uh, we'll play with helicarrier and throw away an interrogation room. Uh, so haymaker, did I say that's what I was doing? Mm -hmm. uh, for three. Which so is that's, exactly enough. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Okay, so he goes defeated on the first part. Second part comes out 18, so 36 he's at, but then he'll buff up even more in one second. Oh my god. Okay, so I go grab um, the Immortal Claw, which I'm assuming will be in here. Nope. No. <laughs> wow. Two cards left. Oh, it's the bottom one. <laughs> All right, so Mortal Claw, I'm going to shuffle the deck. Okay, it's shuffled. Uh, Mortal Claw coming in three per player, so that's six. And Claw gets 10 hit points when that goes away. All right, 18 yep. times two is 36. Yep. Then now we're at 46. Yep. No problem, no problem. I just got to get Whoa. rid of, oops, wrong tokens. How dare I? <laughs> How dare I? Uh, Cut that shuffle. Cut the, oh, <laughs> sorry. Hold on one sec. One sec. Okay. There we go. It's cut. All right. Uh, okay. So that I got to deal with. Oh, and this is accelerating it by one. Well, that's out and, too. Oh, yeah. Never mind. You haven't it done hasn't it gone yet. through the deck yeah, yet. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. All right. So I'm going to continue on here. Yeah, I should have waited till that happened and then done a thwart there, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, let's do a power of justice to pay for a justice. I'll say is mental resource for one of them. So I get rid of four off of a scheme. Okay. And let's do, mm, I don't know if that's overkill. But what else am I holding them for? I'd like Can't get Jessica Jones into play. Yeah, if I get her into play, that would have been good. Uh, let's just do two resources to pay for another four justice. Let's just get rid of this one. So it goes down? Yeah, it drops points. down to 36. Oh, look at you. Yeah, okay. Uh, already up, draw up to seven. So I get another encounter card dealt to me. Uh, his deck's empty, so he gets one of these if you can shuffle this deck for me. Yep. Uh, and I'll shuffle my deck and draw. Oh, I never flipped. I probably should have flipped. Oh, you were talking about it? Yeah. Okay, flip. We haven't done anything. Yeah, but I already started drawing, and I would have... Oh, but the top cards are still there. Those would be the top three. Yeah, sorry. I'll flip. Uh, I was exhausted. Mm -hmm. I would have looked at the top three. Drew one. You had nothing left in your hand? Nope. Oh, okay. Probably... I'll take genius. Yeah, genius will go to my hand. Then that would get shuffled in. Yes, that this definitely. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would have gone to my discard, then I would have shuffled. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, but would that have made my deck draw? No, I would have before that, flipping alter ego to get back that. Um, oh, now that you have your full deck. Yeah, the gauntlets. Which would have still been the discard pile, then I would have looked at the top three cards, which then would make my deck shuffle. So okay. I should have that in hand, yeah. Yeah, you said you were gonna. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was like looking down, I'm like, I'm still in hero form. I swear I was gonna do some more stuff with the Stark Tower while I still have the thing in the discard. Okay, so let's cut that. Uh, so that would be up, this would be up, uh, and I'm continuing to draw up to six. 
Okay, show me an ally. Not one. Wow. Okay, well, at least I got to draw. Okay, so he's going to put four on the scheme now. Wow. Uh, then he'll scheme two plus three is five. Oh boy. Yeah, threat time. Uh, then encounter card. Uh, first one. When revealed, each master reveal minion attacks you. If not, you search, grab one, and put it into play. So let's grab Masters of Evil. Where's that one guy? This guy. Okay, if you can mm -hmm. shuffle the deck. And then, oh, I get your stupid thing in here. Uh, I'm so not good against this. That sucks. I don't even have one of those hit big hit cards. Uh, Blake is asking, new player question, what are the acceleration tokens for? Uh, they just speed up, so they're the exact same symbol as what's on the card here, uh, which tells you at the start of the turn, I'm putting one on per player in this case. So the same little shape there is telling me I'm, I'm adding a plus one to that. So every time you go through their deck, you get an extra one, so it's just speeding it up. And there's also schemes uh, that would have that symbol on there too that would also speed up the main the main threat. It's, in that, like, it's like the first phase of the uh, the villain phase there, place threat on the main scheme, it's all of that's just speeding up that, that single threat. Not when the villain scheme, it's just when the main threat thing happens in that first phase. First, first step of the phase is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so wow, 11 to deal with here. Uh, yeah. All right, so let's do top three cards. There's War Machine. Well, there's an eight damage possible punch in the face, which would be great for her. Do I have the resources to pay for said thing? Yep. Aerial trait. That becomes an aerial trait. Sounds good. And this should be on here. Uh, yeah. Ooh, I want War Machine, but I think I'm taking a supersonic punch to deal with problems. Uh, so these are getting discarded. Okay. All right, uh, so I'm not in that. So let's do, I'll spend a resource, which would be, um, do I do that? No, if I draw into a hero, I don't think I need to do this Stark Tower trickery. Uh, yeah, let's just oh, yeah, not. Uh, okay. You can draw a card. Like this. Yeah, true. Let's see what I got. Mm -hmm. For justice. Okay, that's helpful when there's 10 sitting on the main scheme. So, what does that get rid of? Uh, four if I pay for it with a mental resource. Okay. Okay, let's do... Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, let's toss surveillance team. Nope, I'm not on the other side yet. Uh, can I play it? Yeah, let's do genius to pay for the power gauntlets, second in play. Um, let's flip. Okay, let's use pepper pots to pay two off the top. No, I don't have the aerial tree yet. Let's, oh, I see. Oh, yeah. yeah, sorry. Um, I have the aerial trait. So best case would be, let's just do it for a, for justice. Uh, and I'm paying it using mental resources off the top there. So we'll get rid of four off of a scheme down to six. Uh, all right. So now we'll gain the aerial trait, tossing away a mental resource, exhausting this, I'm in hero form. Uh, so let's do a, uh, let's 
So I'll use Helicarrier plus Interrogation Room. I'll pay for a Supersonic Punch. I have the Aerial Trait, so I'll just deal eight to her. Nice. Gone. Um, and then I'll steal two damage um, to this guy. Two damage again, and then I'll just finish him with Iron Man for one, which will then remove a threat off the main scheme after defeating a minion. Uh, then I'll move another threat off the main scheme with my helmet. Get out of here. This guy's a very well-rounded player. Uh, no, he's a very weak <clears throat> early game. But well, you, yeah, but like... But yeah, he's interesting. I like it. Uh, okay. And he sucks at attacking, sort of, until, I mean, until late. Yeah, but I mean well round, like it does a bit of everything. Yeah. Like every turn. Uh, okay, and then let's ready up Iron Man off of Arc Reactor. And I think we're thwarting for three. And that'd be you the... get plus one? Uh, right here. No, okay. I'm doing it all game, man. Where you been at? I don't know. All right. Uh, let's... Discard Heroic Intuition. Keep energy in hand. I will draw six more cards. Do you get an additional one for this? No, only max seven. Oh, max seven. Yeah. Ready up. I don't have a hero to take the hits, so hopefully I don't get double attacked. Or I probably, that's, that's going to be my downfall is getting taken out. Uh, I should have healed probably there. Uh, okay. So uh, he's going to put four threat there. Uh, he'll attack. Um, I mean, I only can defend for one. I'll just take it. Uh, give the villain a tough status card. So it's one attack plus one. Okay. Okay. So down to six. Uh, then he'll deal an encounter card, which the villain attacks again. See, this is the stuff I was worried about. Uh, I will defend for one. So it's one plus uh, boost. This activation deals damage. If this activation deals damage, you exhaust your hero. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, so it's three blocking one, taking two down to four. Uh, this goes away. All right, still hanging in there. Okay, let's ready Iron Man. Uh, five on the thing. All right. Let's see, let's do a bunch of stuff, flip and heal, I think. All right, so let's get Daredevil into play. We're gonna do it by playing an energy and a power of justice, which is four total resources. We get Daredevil into play. And then we're going to use Pepper Potts. She's going to grab two off energy to help me play a Haymaker. No, not yet, not yet. I need to do an oh, Iron Man. I need, can't do that with Iron Man. What? Oh, because well, you want to heal? Let me draw a card instead of Pepper Potts right now. That's better. Okay. Let's use Pepper Potts for the two off energy plus one off Helicarrier. We get Jessica Jones into play. Okay. Then. Uh, do I have an aerial trait thing happening? No, I don't. Is it a wild? Nope. Well, one could ping off the tough. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. So one for tough, gone. Uh, the other one for just the regular damage. 35. We've started. We've started on the second part. And then let's do a thwart of two. Which deals a damage. Jessica Jones just gonna attack for two. Down to 32. Uh, oh yeah, he's gonna flip eventually and heal. That's what he's gotta do. Do not thwart with him, Rob. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's do an emergency to pay for Repulsor Blast, which will deal one damage. And then one, two, 
three, four, and five to do yes. eight more, uh, which will take me down to 23. Mm -hmm. uh, this way, <coughs> 23, okay. Okay, I can get the card, but I can't do the haymaker. That's okay. So let's remove one more threat from here. Well, that's Iron Man. Oh, no, 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 don't stop. do it, don't do stop. it. <laughs> I keep thinking I'm ending in that form, but I'm not, I'm gonna flip. But I see heroic actions and it's like, uh, did I defeat a minion? I haven't defeated a minion. No. This one. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good there. Flippity flip. Uh, I'll reveal the top three cards. I'll take Repulsor Blast for later, I guess. Okay. Um, can't do anything else there. Uh, so we'll recover three, going to seven. Okay. And that's that. Ready up. And we'll draw up to six. Which does take my deck out. Oh no. Which is fine. And deals an encounter card for later. You guys plan to do an undertow stream? Yeah, if I if we ever get the game. <laughs> oh, we have a fundraiser going right now, actually. I believe the link's down in the description below. But we've been doing it on our Too Many Bones streams. We've been having like a little donation goal going from our Too Many Bones fans. I've been donating. Uh, we're trying to get to 100 US dollars to then buy undertow. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is when that reaches that point, I'm also going to throw in Tank plus 40 Days in Daylor uh, onto an order from Board Game Bliss to get it with free shipping uh, from a Canadian retailer that carries too many bones stuff. Um, oh, thanks, Shannon. <laughs> oh, Sweet. wow. Uh, okay, thank you very much. I appreciate wow, that. I'm sitting here you. telling you what it's about and you've already done it. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Cancel the pitch. Um, but yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, we're trying to raise money for it. Uh, we figured uh, there was a bunch of people messaging me saying, when are you going to do it? Just like you just did. So uh, I saw somebody doing it on Twitch trying to raise money to get their next board game uh, to stream. And I went, hey, that's a good idea to do that. If you're short on funds, if, you know, to get more content, if everyone just donates like a couple bucks. Uh, and after a couple months, I was hoping I would get it. But now we're at like, I think with your donation, we're at like 67, 67 bucks yeah. out of 100. So, so we're almost there. And it's only been going for like uh, two weeks, maybe not even. Oh, I think we only had it up for like two or three streams. Really. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, so but yeah, yep, slow so and steady, we, but eventually we'll get there. And yes, we will be doing an undertow stream. Uh, we will be doing a series where we play it uh, in campaign style with three players. We'll get Justin back, who was part of our Age of Tyranny stream, mm -hmm. our Age of Tyranny uh, campaign, the mm -hmm. seven episodes we played. Um, and we'll definitely do the first one. I want to do that premiere again, the YouTube premiere. Oh, that was it, so fun! Yeah. Where we play and we film it. And then we schedule it to do like a premiere on YouTube where it releases at the same time for everyone. And then we we can watch it. Like Justin was watching from his house. Mel was here. I was here. I was editing. She was upstairs, whatever. And all three of us were watching with everyone else for like the three hours or whatever. And we we're having a good time chatting about it. It was, it was hilarious. Making fun of ourselves and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was a great time. It was a great time. Uh, I thought Undertow was two player only. No. Uh, so Undertow comes with two gear locks. It's meant to be a two player set. But my understanding is you can get extra gear locks and play three and four players and go crazy. Just like, it's all it's all the same thing. Yeah, a viewing party. Basically, that's what it yeah, is. But yeah. But it's like scheduled. It's kind of like a live stream. You schedule it. You hype it up and everyone tunes in. And YouTube mm -hmm. even does like a countdown timer for like two minutes or something to yeah. count down to it. Yeah. Super cool. It was, it was really fun. Yeah. It was so fun. It's still up there. If you go to the first episode of our Age of Tyranny stream, you can turn on the chat. And that's us chatting the whole time. While we were all watching ourselves play at the same time, yeah. it was kind of cool. So many jokes and yeah. oh, it was so fun. I didn't know the feature would work that good, but it yeah. was hilarious. It, it was, was awesome. Very good. I want to do it. Can't wait to do it again. So we'll do it again to start that once we get the game and we know the game well. We'll play it. I'll probably play it on stream a few times. We'll practice the game before we do a full campaign of it to make yeah. sure we know the rules well. But um, yeah, you'll be notified for sure. We'll have we'll post all about that. But yeah, big plans for that for sure. Thank you so much for the donation. Yes, That's and awesome. thank, we'll you, thank, yeah, thank you, for thank you for that. Uh, yeah, so no vinyl rabbit. You could just get it, it was just a cheap way they made for people to get into too many bones uh, that didn't want to pay the price for the core set. I guess they just try to make a smaller, more succinct package for that. Mm -hmm. But it's totally uh, can be mixed and matched. Everything can be put together and stuff and, and used. You can use some things in this, some things in that. Just some of the loot I think and stuff references stuff in that game and obviously the three 
point baddies and undertow don't work on the mat from the first one and stuff like that but oh because of the difference yeah because it doesn't have those sides yeah. those yeah. side things on the raft or the land the little mech bots and stuff yeah but, that's cool um but yeah okay so this encounter card i have from before from drawing shuffled. yep now i'm getting another one is that what's happening right now did i already um you didn't scheme yet. you haven't gone that far yet he's scheming so it's uh, three total scheme. I don't think you, you didn't put the original. Oh, thank you. Yes. So four. three plus four is seven, seven more threats. Just like that in one shot. So we're at nine out of 16. So I definitely have to keep the threat low. Uh, then he will uh, deal an encounter card. First one. Uh, we're going to get illegal arms factory coming into play with uh, five on it. Oh and goodness. it's going to make him draw an extra card in the future of these encounter cards if I don't deal with it. <laughs> uh, and then Sonic Boom. When revealed, either spend this, this, and that resource, one of each, or exhaust each character I control. <gasps> oh. I don't have mental. So you exhaust all of them? Exhaust pepper pots to generate the resources of the top card in your discard pile. Mm, no discard pile. Oh. Yeah, there's nothing. Wow, that is not good. That is not good. Yeah, that's a bad one. <laughs> that's a bad one. Mm. But I think it's still just two player. You can use any of the characters, but it's still just two player. Oh, I mean, well, two player still works for us. Uh, I'd have to look into it more. You might no, be right. Because we no, at Gen yes. Con. Yes, yes. Here's where we say no vinyl, yes, no. Yes, yes. When we demoed the game, the very first time I ever touched anything that was Chip 3 Games, we went up to them and asked to see Too Many Bones, and a nice lady demoed for us Too Many Bones, and she gave Stanza to mm -hmm. you, Duster to me, and I had two other characters set up, and said, two guys were walking by, and she said, hey, you two want to learn? And they were like, yeah, we want to learn this game. So she said, jump on in, and the four of us played together in a full undertow setup, like undertow mat, undertow baddies, undertow loot and cards. All that stuff with Stanza, Duster, and... Uh, Pickett and Boomer. Oh, okay, and okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's what we... So originally, that's how they were demoing the game at Gen Con, was showing it off four-player using... And they were they had the Undertow box there and everything, trying to sell us on Undertow, because the course that was selling so fast, and they had a pile of Undertow they were trying to get mm -hmm. rid of. So they demoed us Undertow to start. And that's our first experience with Too Many Bones. We were like, awesome! Yeah. But yeah, so definitely they were having us play it in four-player mode. I don't see why it would limit you. Yeah, it's all mix and match. I don't see yeah. why... Yeah, the mat is still the same. It's even bigger. So I don't see why they would say you can only have two gear locks on that mat. That doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I'm calling you out, Vinyl. I'm calling you out. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bring up the rules PDF right now. Let's do it. No, I'm just joking. Okay. Uh, so that is the, him done. Back to me. With my guys all exhausted. Let's do the futurist. That is frustrating. Yep. Let's look. I think we're going another repulsor blast. We'll discard these. They're on a raft that's small. <laughs> uh, did we play on the raft side? I don't think we did. Yeah, we did. We did? Yep. Because it was rocking and then it had the guys oh, jumping yeah, on the side. Oh, yeah, we had to go to the right and the left. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It was all there. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I've wanted it ever since that day at Gen Con. Been like, I, that's what we were going to originally buy. But then we went to the booth and they were like, no, no, you need this and this. And they gave us the core set and some characters. And they're like, because we wanted a campaign, and they said the best campaign was with Age of Tyranny in the core set. So, yeah, second Raph off camera. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's do... Hmm, draw a card. Emergency. Emergency. Okay. Let's think here. Anything else you need to do in Alter Ego? Nope, because I'm exhausted, which sucks. I would love to heal. So we're going to ready Iron Man. That can ready anyone? Iron Man. I can't ready Tony Stark. So Iron Man. Uh, yeah, I think we just got to do punchy punchy. Okay. Do I have... I don't have a mental resource right now. Oh, I do. Yeah, we'll generate a mental resource to get the aerial trait. Okay. Wait, I might not need it actually. What does it do for me? Extra two damage, really? That's all it's really doing for me right now. Oh, but then one off each scheme. Okay, yeah, I'll do it still. Okay, so that's done. Um, so let's do that. One off each scheme. Okay. 
Right. Yeah, if I leave that, he will hit four on there. Mm -hmm. And then could force a scheme off of an encounter card. Okay. I think we do... Mm, no more card draw. Okay, let's do... We're going to use strength to pay for a haymaker to do three damage down to 20. The end is in sight because two repulsor blasts could be what are needed if we get lucky hits. But funny thing is I'm holding so much energy uh. in my hand and there's energy all over the table. That's why it keeps missing. Yeah, but even if it gets some through. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously. It's for one, one energy or one resource. So let's toss an interrogation room. We'll do our first repulsor blast. So one damage down to 19. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Geez. Five. Oh, that's so good. Eight more down to 11. Okay. Well, let's do the second one. We'll pay for it with Helicarrier. So one damage down to 10. It's technically possible right here. One, nope. Two, three, four, and five. So we'll do four more. Still very good. Down to six. Wow. Okay. So it's not. Oh, you haven't even used these and him. Oh, that's only five. Yep. Oh. And I can't leave Matt one with that much threat, I don't think. And with extra encounter card coming, I have to get rid of this, I think. But I can't even, because I can only do three off of it. Uh, do I have something? Nope, I really should have used emergency before. Well, you can use emergency on that, no? Yeah, true. Two of them. Uh, true. Five, six, seven, eight. You're fine. This still could go eight. Okay, either way, I'm going to deal four damage to him. Take him down to two. <laughs> If only you played one of those plus one attacks on me before you left. Oh, man. <laughs> I know, right? Duster is a baddie in Age of Tyranny. Tantrum, try. Tantrum, tired of traveling through my... <laughs> Duster is a baddie, yes, as well as... Iron Man is in trouble. Stay true and true. <laughs> Stay tuned, true believers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Iron Man has crushed this. No, but I'm at seven health. You don't think you can survive one? Throw one of these guys in front and let them die. Ah, uh, yes, true. Yes, true. I forgot about them because they're sleeping right now. Yeah. Yeah, they could have been easily if I had one of those guys. Yeah. If that sonic boom didn't happen, yeah. I'd have won. All right. But there is sometimes, uh, if I kill them, there's damage to the hero that I'm worried about too. Okay, let's do... Uh, I'm going to thwart. <clears throat> you didn't come all this way to die. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm not worried about this threading out, really. Uh, no. Uh, but the three encounter cards, I'm worried about him getting schemes, attacks, extra guys in front of me, all this stuff. But I, I hopefully it's not a big guard. That's the only thing that could be a problem, unless I draw into uh, Sonic Punches or something, which I will pitch cards so I draw more. Uh, okay, so end of my turn, I'll discard Heroic Intuition. I would save those news. Yeah, those. hold. Uh, but he's not going to scheme. Yeah, he will. By default. Oh, nope. that's only by default. Okay, then. Yeah, yeah, so I may hold these for no reason. Yeah, if you want to chuck them so that they're in your deck for energy. Yeah, I'm going to pitch both of them. He could still scheme off an encounter card, and we are drawing three of them. Hold on. You know what? Let's look at his open knowledge discard pile. Yeah, he will scheme. I promise you he will scheme. He will scheme probably twice. You'll see. No, maybe not. The deck's kind of thick. Maybe once. He'll scheme once. I'll hold one. <laughs> oh, I'll hold one. Iron Man is dead. Oops, spoiler. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> oh, I, I don't From watch the movies, them. I don't yeah. Know. All right, so we're reading up. Yeah, I would just throw one of these. We're reading up. We're drawing out my deck again. Oh my so goodness. even more encounter cards. Uh, one more. Uh, two left on him. Two left. <coughs> I wish he had the careless trait or something. <laughs> okay. Sorry, if I was still alive, I'm sure we could have got that. We games. wouldn't have been still playing right now. We'd be <laughs> upstairs chilling. I'd be watching the first episode of The Mandalorian with my daughter, but I still haven't been able to watch it yet. What's that? Uh, it's Disney Plus, the new Netflix, Disney's Netflix or whatever. 
dropped today with a like high budget Star Wars show that they're gonna release oh, like okay. I believe once a week. But it's their big thing they launch so that they get people to subscribe. She looks side eye. <laughs> 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 that's amazing <laughs> okay so i did a supersonic punch i got four justice uh so if you survive you're gonna you're golden yeah, yeah oh yeah definitely i should be good but we'll see how much he heals if i get a big guard in front i have to still pound through all that like yeah we'll see i'm gonna have minions here for sure that i, I promise you uh okay so start with four here yes so four not, i'm not done right that is no because you didn't need eight. 16 9, 10, 11, 12. Four yeah, away. Four out. But that's simple from a, one scheme with a boost, and I'm done. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Let's see. So he's attacking you. Yes, he's attacking me. It's over three, right? Uh, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> uh, let's do... He thwarts for two. He thwarts for two, but deals damage. Jessica. You have to deal three, right? Nope. Jessica's going to jump oh. in front of it, and then we'll do attack of one plus. Oh, thank God that's going away like that. Uh, so that's four. Jessica Jones be dead. Sorry, what does that symbol mean then? Uh, extra encounter card drawn. Like oh, encounter card. Yes. Oh, okay. Not right. a boost card. Okay. Uh, now boost time. Oh, did I deal one for drawn through my deck? I did not, right? No. Right? So one for the draw. Oh, that's why you said it would be three. Uh, one for fun. Yeah. And one for this. Here we go. Do you find, in your opinion, can all the villains be defeated using one hero in solo mode? <laughs> yes. 100%. I've done it. I did it on live stream last week. One of the 37 live streams I did <laughs> all last week during the week. Uh -huh. One of them, I played all three together, one after another. Uh, maybe it was between two streams. But one I did Rhino, and then the next day I carried over. I used Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel with, I think, Justice in the deck. And I love Justice. It's my jam, as you can tell. And then I love Iron Man, too. But even Justice with Captain Marvel, I love that, too. She was awesome. Basically, card draw and Justice are, like, what, <laughs> I, what I love. But I was able to use Captain Marvel and, and slam through all, all of this. I, I, beat, I beat Claw my first try ever seeing him. And then I did Ultron right after it with the same deck and beat him first try. So, yes, it's possible, for sure. Uh, if you want to find some good decks to use, I recommend going to Marvel CDB, card game database, cdb.com. And there's people who've put some solo decks up there that they've used and they've talked about how they use them, why they built them that way, to use them for solo to pound all the, 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 um, all the villains. Uh, and they explain how, what they did on each villain. So there's one for everybody on there. Many, many different versions of decks too. But go to that website. And you'll see some good write-ups on there of decks. But that's that's where I go to, to learn how to deck build. Um, and Vinyl Rabbit signed up for Disney Plus. I don't know, man. Is it like Netflix 9.99-ish? It's less. They're doing 8.99 to start or 89.99 for the year. That's the U.S. And uh, it's since they own Fox, it's going to have all the Fox stuff. They own National Geographic. That's all going to add stuff. All this stuff's been taken away from Netflix, so to put on that channel. And then all the Disney Channel stuff is going to be there. Uh, it's going to be all family-friendly junk. Hmm. I, none of the R-rated stuff's going to go on there. And they are launching R-rated. A bunch of Marvel series are going to do R-rated. So they're going to do Daredevil, uh, Punisher. They took those away from Netflix. Again, those series, which is super annoying. I love those. But they're taking them away. They're going to do them both R-rated, I think. And also uh, Daredevil is going to be R-rated. So Disney's cool with R-rated Marvel movies only. Oh. And they're going to have a whole series of heroes stories that they're going to do R-rated specifically. And I don't think those will ever come to Disney Plus is the idea. Because they're R-rated. But, and I don't know where they would come. Maybe they will. I don't know. But I just heard. Like in a set special section or something? I don't know. Like, yeah. It, yeah, they could, can do parental controls, yeah. I guess. But yeah. So. Hmm. But yeah. So that's. It's Disney Plus. It's like. Yeah. Star Wars is what you're interested in. Yeah. Then you're fine. You're going to get. Yeah. The Mandalorian. I can't wait to watch that right after this. But yeah. Uh, so I need to hurry up. So stop distracting me. I'm going to watch <laughs> Mandalorian. No, I'm just joking. It'll still be there. I like binging shows. So it's, they're only releasing, it seems like, one episode at a time. So. Where do you go to get Disney Plus? We have a question about that. Uh. There was a giant ad on YouTube today when I went on that just was a huge Disney Plus ad. So there's a website. They had a countdown timer to the launch of Disney Plus, which happened this morning. Uh, was the, Today is the first day it ever came out. 
Disney Double Plus for all your already goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Disney After Dark Plus. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but yeah, just I don't know. Google Disney Plus. It's a special website, just like Netflix, that you go and you sign up for. They probably have trials and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, it's uh, just another streaming service like Netflix. Oh no. <laughs> Shannon, your message just got blocked, and I see why. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Auto blocked. YouTube caught you. <laughs> He's doing emote boobies in the chat. All right. So let's <laughs> let's see. This is, I'm just wasting time for the inevitable Iron Man death here. No, he's not gonna die. He didn't come all this way playing on it's hard gonna be mode scheme, by yourself. Scheme, guard guy, scheme, and I'm done on the schemes. Watch. So I'm on manipulation. When revealed, hero, take two damage and claw heals two damage. Okay. That's still doable. Yeah, but we haven't seen two other cards yet, so let's not let's not get excited here. All right. No, each card I'm gonna get excited that so you're not. So five. Dead. Down to five health. There it is. That's what I was talking about. Villain schemes. Okay. Two plus. <clears throat> Give the villain an additional boost card. So it's at three scheme right now. So that is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So what? Where is 8, 9, 10, 11? 5. So he's doing eight, 3 nine, from 10, this 11, already. 12. There's Okay, 12 there. Plus 3 is 15. Oh, 15, yeah. And then the boost is another 3. So I'm done on the scheme. Just like that. Told you. And then the last card is just Defense Network, which would have stopped me from getting thread off there or whatever. Oh. Uh, yeah. Told you. Either I would have died on the damage because I was so low, or the threat would have threaded out. Like, I, 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 it would eventually catch up to me. I just needed that, like, extra one damage last turn if I would have fought with him and one more damage. Yeah, if they didn't exhaust you, you would have had it. Or if my other player didn't die in, like, the first <laughs> 10 minutes of the game. <laughs> the fact that I went that long against Claw that's in, what I mean. when he's like, at two-player level. You that's... were playing, like, on hard mode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah cool. I definitely sucked. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely need so I, close, but that was exciting. So Either close. way, that was awesome that, wow. I, that I went. Th I thought I was gonna die way quicker, and it would just with these out. Like I thought it would just be over like so fast. Yeah, because after I died, I was thinking like, do we just like shuffle up and start again? But yeah. I didn't realize even with this, it wasn't that card. It was the second card. Yeah. So just me drawing through my deck. Yeah. Is what killed me. No, because really. the, the, then if you didn't draw through your deck, then I would have drawn one less encounter card. And it would have been that first one, which was just the two damage. Yeah, I did it in order. Oh, yep. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's true. But whatever. I was drawing through my deck trying to make things happen. So if I could have dug into something else. I don't know. But That's yeah, true. I'm sure there was misplays I made that were inefficient. And early game, I got a really slow start going. So but yeah, either way. I, me dying, obviously. Yeah, you dying, which you're the, you're the one who does all the damage. Like, we should have <sighs> been through the first claw, like, quickly with you for sure. But well, I guess those not... minions, those minions slowed us down. Yeah. And too much. Yeah, and taking multiple attacks multiple times is tough. But yeah, this game's awesome. That was awesome. That was fun. Still, it sucked that you had to sit there and watch all that. No, that's fine. I don't mind. I my don't card, have, my card shuffler. I don't have much uh, experience yet with this game, so true. I mean, it's good to see the cards. And that's your and, first She-Hulk, and yeah. we're playing on Claw. And I never played this guy. I, either, I was so. gonna do Rhino just so you could learn She-Hulk, but then I was like, nah, let's fool around with Claw. Oh, I'll use fine. I'll use a deck that I've played a bunch already, so that it, I can kind of pick up slack a bit. I so. didn't. I wasn't expecting all the stars. Why do you like Justice with Captain Marvel? Because I love Justice. She draws a ton of cards, and I can keep threat down while I'm trying to build up for her uh, energy channels. To build up the uh, those ten damage shots, just like a, just like Iron Man building up, it's the same theory. She just builds up, and she's also great with her um, automatically getting the aerial trait, and then being able to uh, avoid damage off that card that gives her the aerial trait. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is sweet. That keeps her in play. She's very flexible. I just love her how she can stick around for a while. She hits hard when she needs to, and the card draw is insane. I love it. And then the threat from Justice, like. If you can keep threat under control, you can beat any villain. Like you just keep poking damage in and, and killing the, the guys that are the biggest attack and just thwart. Keep the keep no threat off this off the keep zero threat on the main scheme every turn and just attack when you feel like it. it you'll win almost every time. It just seems to work like that. That's how I feel all the core set villains kind of work so far. I'm oversimplifying it, but yeah, that's basically how it works. So those turns, that's why I kept lasting so long. I would just clear all the threat. Yeah. Now I don't have to worry about him scheming out of control. And I just try to take out the guys that have three attack or so and watch my health. And uh, yeah. it's just like maintaining a bunch of 
stats. You just gotta like keep an eye on this, keep an eye on that, keep an eye on this. It's like fight these little fires. It's it's exactly like uh, pandemics, like playing pandemic or any of those co-op games where you're just like trying to put out all the different fires. Mm-hmm. Uh, what new hero would you like to see? Uh, before I said I would like to see a whole set of all the X Men, everything X Men. I just want to play an X Men game. <laughs> Not a fan of anything Marvel other than X Men, to be honest. I've been a DC guy since a little kid. Batman, Superman. Uh, yeah, that's just, yeah. I, I just like DC stuff. It really, that's all the comics other than X-Men. That's the only Marvel comics I had as a kid uh, through teenage years. Uh, some Spider-Man. Spider-Man's okay. I love the Spider-Man cartoon growing up. But then in the 90s, X-Men cartoon too. Like, then I, that got me back into the comics again, just reading X-Men. Like, yeah. And, and, and Batman and X-Men were like all the comics I had. So that's why I'm not like, huge into comics more into fantasy and stuff but like in the comic world i love batman and i love x-men um but yeah i love batman because he's just like a regular dude but smart and i love all the sciencey stuff and the technology and then x-men i love because it's basically just a story like it's a race story about like racial discrimination and that i always thought was really deep and kind of real and relatable so uh it was something that's like happening in our world to this day it's even more relatable is the x-men is like mutants are hated by half humans hate mutants and half the mutants hate the humans because they hate the mutants so some of the mutants try to stop the other mutants from attacking the humans and this is like whole big race war basically um but yeah it was like that um but yeah so anything x-men i want a big box full of like five or six x-men heroes and a handful of their villains and i want all the location cards of like you know xavier's mansion and all that stuff like uh, yeah i just yeah magneto I want to be playing as Magneto. I want to be fighting with Magneto uh, against him as a villain. Uh, like, yeah, anything. But, yeah. like, you could just look to um, Legendary, like, when they release packs like that, where they had, like, the Fantastic Four box, the X-Men stuff, the, the villain box. I just picture, like, FFG will probably do some big box stuff like that, maybe, hopefully, where they just take, like, you know, that stuff together. But, yeah, that's what I want. Fastball special. But, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, that's that's what I think. Um, but yeah, um, I appreciate you guys all being here. I appreciate you guys hanging out with us while we played uh, Marvel Champions again. Uh, the next streams, I'm not sure what's coming up this week for sure. Uh, Dark Souls, I'm supposed to get the expansion stuff for that soon. Hopefully, you're a Judge Dredd fan. I love Judge Dredd. Now, I never really read the comics, but when I saw that first movie, I know some people are like, eh, Judge Dredd. But the original Judge Dredd movie, I love that movie. That was really cool. That made me, I did have a couple Judge Dredd comics based on seeing that movie. But I didn't really get into it much further because I was a little older by then. Um, so I was getting into real life and stuff. But Judge Dredd's super cool. I love that stuff. Um, yeah, nothing nothing wrong with Judge Dredd. Uh, I don't know half of anything that you guys are talking about. Yeah, but it's just you grow up as a teenage boy in the 90s. It's like comics and a kid in the 80s. I remember my mom like, uh, I don't know, I was like seven or eight, maybe six. And my mom literally for her birthday was like, here is a big white box full of brand new comics. And it was like, I guess she, I don't know if she went to the local comic store or what, but she came and there was like one of all the big comics. So like I had like one Batman, one Superman and like mm. all these, all these things in there. Spider Woman, like just random, like it was all just one issue of random comics. No number ones, no nothing like that. No start of stories. They were just random comics. So like she obviously got some cheap here, give me a taste of everything. Yeah. And gave it to me as a kid. And then I like, I read through all of them. I was like, this is neat. And like the fact my mom gave me comics as a kid is like most parents threw away their kids' comics. <laughs> but my mom gave me comics to try to get me into probably reading. <coughs> she was probably trying to say, here's a way you can read better, right? And now I think about it, my reading comprehension has never been good all my life. And I remember having trouble when I was a kid with that stuff. Um, and that's probably why she did it. Now, looking back as a parent, I see this as like comics are good for reading comprehension. I think they're just... They help people get into reading if you enjoy that kind of stuff. But yeah. Uh, yeah, she just gave me a box of comics. So I remember like reading through that and then I thought Spider-Man was awesome. Pat-Man was awesome. And some of the old X-Men stuff was awesome. And then, yeah, when I got into my own money, Paper Root and all that stuff, I started buying comics. But uh, yeah, then I grew, kind of grew out of it. But now with all the comic book movies coming out of everywhere, uh, it's crazy. Blade. Blade would also be sick. Blade would be cool uh, in the game. He's like a vampire hunter. Uh, like Blade the movie? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that's okay. a, that was like that's the a first. Comic? Yeah, that was like the first Marvel superhero movie. Was, oh, I, was, I never seen um, it. But okay. What's his face I know. in Blade? Uh, what's his? Face? Is it like Denzel Washington or something? Nope. No. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's not. And uh, I'm blanking. 
I am blanking. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yep. They'll tell us before we Oh, yeah, about they'll it. say it. Who's the original Blade actor? That's what we're trying to figure out. But yeah, Blade. Blade, that was like the first Marvel comic movie that was big. Wesley Snipes. Oh, I, yes. but my next guess is going to be Samuel L. <laughs> Jackson. It's like, I don't know. No. I'm like trying to remember all the. <laughs> Best Wesley, Wesley Snipes. Snipes movie? Oh, okay. Demolition Man. No, I, I, I love that movie. <laughs> But anyways, yeah. So that was just the That's stuff. That's a comic movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was like the first like comic book here, like big movie. I think was was Blade, where everyone was like, "Yeah, it's a Marvel superhero." Like, but he's just a vampire hunter. Like, it was oh. he's half vampire, half human, and cool. Yeah. yeah. Now they're doing like another one with the guy from. Uh, uh, I don't remember his name, but he is in something I'm watching right now. I forget. I'm bad, but I can show you later the trailers and stuff. But. Uh, or that they've announced that he's the next Blade, but they're redoing, rebooting Blade yeah. or whatever, and people are doing like a whole Wesley Snipes like petition online, like, "Hey, he's still alive, bring him back. He needs to be the Blade." Oh. Like he made Marvel movies cool before they were cool, like, all that <laughs> That's stuff. That's awesome. But, yeah. Uh, let's see. So, where does this game fall for you and all of the LCGs that are offered? Hmm. Thank you. Marshala Ali. See, I'll ne- I never remember that name, but I, <laughs> but I know it when I see it. I know who he is, but yeah, he's awesome, by the way. I was super excited when they said he was going to be Blade. Uh, Blade's seed k- sidekick is Deadpool. Is it really? I didn't know oh, that. Oh, in the new version? No, maybe in the comics even. I don't know. That's oh. interesting. I did not know that. Wow. i um, getting a lesson here today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't watch any of the comic book stuff. I just watch it with uh, buddies or myself or my daughter. Like, she totally leaves the room and goes and does whatever, watches reality TV. But anyways, uh, yeah. So uh, where does LCG game fall for you and all the LCGs offered? So a hard question for you. Apples and oranges between competitive and co-op LCGs. Mm. So if you're thinking LCGs in general, like L5R, Game of Thrones... Is that all that's left for LCGs, pretty much, um, that are going competitive? I wouldn't compare it in those LCGs, but if I was just talking the co-op, I have never played Arkham Horror LCG. I've heard great things, and I was going to get it, because we do like Mansion of Madness. I like that whole uh, HP Lovecraft stuff. Uh, I want to get more into that stuff, but um, I've not played that LCG. And before I could get into it, then I this was announced, so then I just decided to jump into this instead. And we still have so much Lord of the Rings stuff. I want yeah. to go back and play. And we stopped buying that after a while. I still have like the last two years of stuff to catch up. But yeah, they're all great LCGs. I remember watching and reading the rules all for Arkham Horror, looking into it when it was coming out, following it all. I just didn't get it when it launched because I thought we still had Lord of the Rings to play through. And, and you know, I don't need another co-op LCG. I can only have so many of the same game. And no offense, it is a different game. They are different. But, I mean, just similar mechanics. Like... You know, you want to sit down and play a co-op LCG, you only need really one to get that same feel of working together, you know, dealing with an encounter deck, throwing treacheries at you or threats or whatever. Yeah. Um, but th- this is different than other ones I've played before. Yeah, it's still a little different, but this still does feel kind of like Lord of the Rings, where yeah. we're throwing allies on the board, things are randomly happening, stuff mm-hmm. looks like it's going well, and then just starts to fall apart. Sometimes you draw from your deck and you're like, damn it, I just didn't get what I need. We're going to fail. It feels That's very true. samey. But this, I feel, is more of a one-off. You're playing, so we set up, we oh, play yes, one yes, game yes. where when we play Lord of the Rings, I feel like I'm playing through a story. So I personally like Lord of the Rings better because it's our first LCG. I like fantasy theme. I love Lord of the Rings theme. I love having multiple yes. heroes. I love having a bunch of allies. I love having tons of characters. I love managing the multiple resources. Yes. I like helping. I feel like there's more interaction between players. I think this game actually has more of that because you can do actions yeah, I think on their does. turn. But I just feel like there was more working together. And I love, like you're saying, the continuing story. So yeah. even in all the packs, and I know they're coming out with a campaign for this game, a campaign box, but I'll judge that when I see it. Yeah. But literally every single thing that released for Lord of the Rings is literally a continuing story. And then there was boxes on the side that followed the book stories. So like there's all these cool campaigns and you can just follow the story along through a, uh, through a cycle and into the big boxes. And I just love that ongoing story. Like if you really want to follow it along, it really felt cool carrying it forward to each one. But maybe that, um, I don't even remember what yeah. it was called from the beginning of the video, the Crushers or the Crew or what were they talking The Wrecking about? Crew. Wrecking Crew. I don't even yeah. remember what it's called. Me, that will feel more like it because you're fighting through multiple. Well, that's still just a sit down one session 
Right, but maybe a it'll be longer, box. so it'll feel whatever campaign box they bring out. But in this, this feels very comic booky. Yeah, like comic books. Yeah. You get it. You read through an issue. You throw it down. You get it the next month. You get the right. small little bite sized story. These are little yeah. bite sized stories. Like yes, this exactly. Is, this is how much story you're getting. Is four lines, three lines, like. But in Lord of the Rings, it's like here's this location, and it tells me all this cool story and theme, and like you understand why you're going to this location, or maybe you choose this location to to travel to or yeah. whatever and then there was the main story stuff going on the main like uh scheme yeah, kind of cards yeah. right and wasn't there when we opened it wasn't there yep, like a little paper, a paper and you that, read through it the yep, whole thing yep there's yeah, a paper that, for a while, but... and some of them have conclusions based yeah. on if you win or fail go read this part on the page yeah so it's definitely but it makes sense it makes sense lord of the rings is coming from books and it makes sense to be more story driven yeah um the best can campaign lcg is world of warcraft World of Warcraft. I'm assuming that's something that's not printed. Is it still printed, or is that like an older like CCG or something? Yeah, Ar Arkham is my favorite. That's I just never tried Arkham, but it does look amazing. And there's guys that come to our local game store and we're playing it like every week uh, before we had our Keyforge tournaments. And I was just watching them, and I'm like, man, this feels the feel of just watching it felt like they're playing it, but it also had the cool like investigators and clues and all that oh, stuff, yeah, yeah. and like yeah. Hmm. Yeah, LCG is out of print. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Um, we do have Lord of the Rings playthroughs up, right? No. Or we don't? Uh, there might be one video where we did a Lord of the Rings, like, originally when the channel first launched. I filmed, like, Mel and I just playing it to test out cameras and stuff. But that's not something we played. That was, like, a guilty pleasure. We kind of played it. That was a game we played off camera all the time. We had Justin or Kyle, who you've seen on the channel. He came over. We played two, three, or four player of that game. And we would literally play for like an entire day. Yeah, we played scenario. for hours. Yeah, like we loved it. Loved Lord of the Rings. And I was buying it up until like two years ago. Then I realized like, wait, we weren't getting together that often. We were starting to play other board games. So I stopped. But it is something that I, I would do on the channel. But, oh, you did oh, find it? Oh, we found it? it. Okay. Nice. We even played it every time we went to Gen Con every year. We would play it. Oh, no, no, no. So, so what you're looking at, that's not the LCG. That is, uh, that oh. is a board game that just came out <laughs> this year from Fantasy Flight. Journeys of Middle Earth, uh, that Hunt for the Ember Crown is just one of the campaign uh, scenarios for that board game. But that is an app driven board game like Mansion of Madness Second Edition. Also very fun though. Yeah, that's not I the love LCG. That game. <laughs> but that that's is more that's more like Mansions of Madness, right? Yeah, that's what I said. Mansion yeah. of Madness Second Edition. Same it's an app driven board game, uh, which is totally different, but <laughs> another awesome <coughs> Lord of the Rings game. Also then I would start at, ch at chapter one, not chapter yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. Also, uh, <coughs> Bones of Arnor, go watch that playthrough first. That is actually the first one. So we've done two full campaigns of Journeys to Middle-Earth. They've released two. They have one that came with the core set, and then they had a DLC one that we did after uh, that came out in the summer. Well, you guys got a lot of Gloomhaven stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was like our most... Our, our, <coughs> our first Gloomhaven episode just hit like 100,000 views uh, from that. And our first couple, uh, we were a little too serious playing <coughs> Sorry, that game. Yeah. You okay? Yep. Gotta go? Yep, just for one second. Sorry. Sorry, yeah, Mel, Mel had to cough her face off. She's not feeling well. So she's <laughs> taking off, as you can hear in the background, probably. <laughs> she's holding, holding the tickle. She's dealing with a cold, coming off a cold, but... Uh, you guys, yeah. So Gloomhaven, we played through like 40-something episodes of Gloomhaven. Uh, we are going to go back and continue that game. I still have it over on the table there, set up to what our next one we're going to play is. It's just other games have gotten in the way. And we still have to do the Forgotten Circle stuff. But um, And that was the loss we saw of Gertrude. Poor Gertrude. Uh, but yeah, we should be doing more live streams. We'll be doing more Gloomhaven stuff in the future. Uh, Tainted Grail, we're playing through that right now. That's a big game, most anticipated game of 2019. Huge game we're playing through. Lots of story spoilers in that, so we won't watch through that, but... Uh, that's one that uh, is next episode is going up tomorrow for that one. Uh, I'll be uploading it tonight. Just had to wait for the developer to give us a ruling on a uh, typo we found in there that was not in the FAQ. So that was kind of interesting. Uh, having that happen in the middle of a playthrough, realizing something was wrong there uh, that you can watch in that video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to call it there. Uh, thanks to our Patreon backers for supporting us. Thank you to everyone, Vinyl, Shannon, uh, Devin, all you guys for hanging out in the chat with us tonight. Uh, Mutton Shop Viper, too many games, not enough time. Exactly. And now I do this full time. I basically took a year off from my job to literally just play games and work on the channel and try to grow it. Maybe do it as a full time thing going forward. Uh, so all those Patreon dollars and YouTube ad revenue and all that stuff is helping me not dip into my savings. 
but I basically saved up a bunch of money so I could do this for a year. I'm a couple months in having fun. So yes, I'll get Cloudspire going to, that's a, no, not just to get Cloudspire. <laughs> Cloudspire happened after that. And man, when I got that, I was like, holy crap, like perfect timing on that. But yeah, I'll get more into games and too many games, not enough time. So just keep an eye out to the channel. We'll have lots coming up. Thanks for subscribing and links are below for social media and the donation links and all that stuff. Thanks to everyone supporting our undertow fund to get that on the channel. But yeah, that's going to be it for our Marvel champion stream and chill Tuesday night stream. No Kyle this week, unfortunately, uh, but he will be here Friday afternoon, most likely. So I don't know what we're going to play with him, uh, but it's just me and Kyle. I'll figure out something to play on Friday afternoon. So we should be streaming then. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned to the channel. I'll try to schedule some live streams. So just check the channel. I'll tweet about it and yeah, follow the Twitter. But yeah, thanks a lot, everybody, for being here. And we'll see you later.